you hear me? Hello? Hey, what's going on? I can hear you perfectly, by the way. Is it working? Okay. <laughs> can you see me? Discord. <laughs> this is very crisp. I'm just letting you know, your camera is very crisp. It's very good. Yeah? Like my nails? Crisp? Yeah. Okay. It's very... Hold on. I've never Discorded before, so it's like Skype. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, there's a server, which I think you joined, I saw. Like, I have a... Yes, because I'm trying to learn. Hello, chat. Wait, hold on. I am going to... I'm going to turn the uh, camera on so they can see you. One second. Let me figure out where the capture is. There it is. Okay. It's just like I got to do with all this live, uh, live production. Not easy. I know. Very I difficult. mean, you've only been doing it for like six hours. So. All right. Today. Just yeah. today. <laughs> yep. Here it is. Okay, perfect. So this camera <laughs> that currently uh, is showing me on your end, I'm going to put on my hands basically. Okay? Okay. Got it. So that you can get a better feel. I'm for also what's... watching your stream at the same time. But okay, well, this will be real time. Like you'll be able to, <laughs> you'll be able to, you know, fix my shit up and tell me what I'm doing wrong in real time. You know what I mean? Uh, ladies and I gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here is Nailogical, uh, or I guess Christine without an H. Yes. <laughs> is that a different way of reading that, or is that the? Well, it, it's Christine without the Christ, actually. Okay, Christine without the Christ, and uh, she is a nail expert, right? And a criminology I mean, I, expert too, actually. So I'm not a licensed nail tech, but I am. Uh, I do have my degree in criminology. So, which one am I the expert at? You tell me. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously, from what I understand, okay, from what I understand, Canada desperately needs criminology experts because there's a lot of just murders happening. What do you have to yes, say to that? Yeah, I don't think so. I think if you actually look at the crime rate or the homicide rate specifically is what you're referring to, you'd find that it's a lot lower in Canada than it is in the United States, and there are statistics that show that. Okay. So what we're looking at is outlier cases that you've been watching on JCS Psychology, which I also have watched and I, too, find fascinating. Okay, what do you... Have you ever met Jim Smith? Wait, what do you do as your day job? I work, oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I am not a spy operative for the Canadian government chat. Let me just make that clear. Uh, <laughs> I work as a crime statistics analyst for Statistics Canada, which I don't think there is a direct equivalent in the states because you guys have state-based crime stats as opposed to national. So I think the closest is like the United States Department of Justice, maybe or maybe like FBI statistics might be where you guys get your national data. So I do national crime stats for Canada. Not okay. just me, many people. What do people. you have to say to the fact that 90% of crimes happen in Ontario that's or, not in, true. or in Florida? <laughs> well, that's not true. I don't have the number on top of my head, but it's definitely not 90% of all crimes okay, uh, well, in my, Canada happen in Ontario. My anecdotes watching all the murder documentaries or murder... I don't know about Florida, though. Like, murder, that I can't speak to, so... All I'm saying is every murder seems to be happening in Ontario or Florida. That's Ontario, what my... I'll say no, but uh, Florida, I don't know. You know, you'll have to call on a crime expert from the States. Okay, I have more questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you ever met Jim Smith? What is that, a Canadian stereotype? No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> Jim Smith is a superstar detective that we oh. love here. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I have not met him. Okay, I don't it's with a, it's with a Y. Detective. His last name is with a Y. He, uh, he, he got, he caught uh, Colonel Russell Williams. Oh, yeah, he, oh, he got yeah. him in like twenty minutes, under twenty minutes. No, I have never met him. Canada's not that small, you know. 
There are 30. It's pretty small. How many people, people live in here? Canada? Like uh, 36 10, million. 36 million. Oh, wow. I was, I was off. I was off by a couple thousand. <laughs> <laughs> 36 million people live in Canada. Yeah, but they all live yeah. so close to America. What's up with that? We just can't get away from you. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. What do you have to say to the fact that the coldest parts of America are the warmest parts of Canada? I mean, I'm used to the cold. Uh, and every time I travel to the States, I usually go to Florida to get some relief. Oh, uh, but it, it, this corresponds to my theory. Like, okay. Ontario is the Florida of Canada. Except global warming will work in our favor. So I'm not too worried about it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Neological. Pro-global warming. <laughs> no, she just said please, it. Chad, no. You know what I meant. Come on. Please don't take that out of context. I can't believe she I literally mean, just I said, I am a fan of global warming. She said it. No, so, wow. I did not. So what happened? Like when you saw the when you saw the oil refinery, like the Exxon oil refinery blowing up in the sea, you were like, "This is good." About about time. Is that what you, you said? You know, uh, do you want to paint your nails today, or you just want to? <laughs> I'm grill sorry. I'm them? sorry. Um, no, I thank you. Thank you. I just what I, does I had the to get chat back. Want? Listen, I I had to get back at you a little bit because you were roasting me pretty hard. Okay. You're just fact pretty... checking you with statistics. Maybe the next time you can Google some statistics. I don't know what statistics are. I'm an American. <laughs> statistics are um, what my heart tells that. me. Okay. Facts, Hassan. You got to fact check <laughs> instead you, of your chat doing it for you. Yeah, as you as you already mentioned, uh, we don't have a national like statistics uh, association or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's kind of so sus, huh? We don't do that. That's that's facts and logic. No, okay. that'd make too much sense. So I'm gonna go grab some stuff really quickly. Like I have nail related things. Everything You're gonna need here, nail polish. Yeah, everything here, PO box. Uh, they sent it to me in my PO box. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run through them. This is latex tape. Like you can tell me if I need it, okay? Oh, so it's that kind of stream. What do you mean? <laughs> Just kidding. What, I don't know what, what kind of stream is that. What does that mean? <laughs> Okay, Hold well, it up again. Let me see what the let me see what the box says. Pewin latex tape, Queen. mess free nails. Okay, you you're gonna need that. You look at my cuticles; it's so fucked up. I okay, bite you them. Gotta, you didn't listen to me. You need to stop biting them. Take your yeah. anger out on your chat, not your cuticles. I do that. I think chat is the reason why I take it out on my cuticles because they just they go crazy. Uh, I know. I've, they make I've me go seen crazy. It earlier today. Hey, if I give you money, will you write my name on your arm? <laughs> no, <laughs> that how, I'm not, that's how this works, right? I'm it's new not. To it's not. It's not one of those kinds of streams here. I don't do that. I don't even read subs or or donos for that matter. I'm I'm a bad streamer to be honest. Um, it's okay, your your chat hates you, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. They just they sit here and they yell at me all day. They try to trigger me all day. <laughs> Um, I know it's 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 great. That's what I love most about your streams is your chat. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love my chat too. But you know, it's like a love hate relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot wait, of Canadians wait, wait, in here too. That? I don't know if you know that. It's like half. Yeah, the population what's up, Canada? Canada? Can I get some Canadian flag? I'm taking over your chat for a second. Do it. Can I get some Canadian uh, flags in the chat to show that Canada is real? It's not just me who lives here. There, there we go. We got some uh, Canadian emojis. I don't know what that guy is, but <laughs> it's XQC, I think. <laughs> okay, I don't know him. If you're gonna ask that next, there's like ten people in Canada, and you don't know XQC. That's crazy. No, I only heard about him because you talked about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I have another thing here. This is yeah. a rapid dry top coat. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. Quick dry top coat. Now, uh -huh. we don't have to use any of this, though. I'm just showing you what they've sent me. I don't know if this is good or not. So we're basically um, judging your chat's ability to shop for yeah, nail products. Yeah, and then I'm going to go grab all of the nail polish that... Okay. I don't know where it is, but I'll be back in one second. Go grab it. I'll entertain the chat. What's up, chat? What's up, Canada? Hey? You know what Hassan did to me? He made me stay up until... What time is it? It's almost 10.30 p.m. in my time zone because <laughs> I live in Ottawa, Canada. 
And I think he just didn't understand time zones when I told him earlier that I would be good to go at like seven or eight my time. Maybe he's on his time. It's on stream time. <laughs> Eastern time gang. Yep, that's us. So are there any um, hollow fans in the chat? Oh, I see. I see a few. <laughs> I was watching Hassan's chat uh, or stream earlier, and I wasn't mad that he forgot about this. Pokemon's cat is really cute. And I want to live that cat's life, if I'm being honest. I want to live in that cat tree. I want to live in Pokemon's backyard. That was uh, cat life goals. <laughs> so what do you guys do here? You just watch JCS Criminal Psychology. That's my favorite Hassan stream. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I like how he just like left me here. <laughs> I have no idea if if half the chat probably doesn't even know who I am. They're like, who is this random Canadian girl? Why is she here? Why is Hassan doing his nails? Is it Femboy Friday? No, it's Monday. Bitch. <laughs> Uh, he's coming back full holster. You're you're doing great so far with like. I was just about you're interrupting me. I was just gonna plug my socials, and my nail polish brand. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I, I have a problem. I can't find my black nail polish that I've used. Uh, before I don't know where it is. You don't have any other colors. I think my mom took it, but I have. I have this thing. Dude. This is step one, etape, Sally Henson Miracle Gel. So etape is step in French. C'est en français. Because in Canada, oh. fun fact, all products need to have English and French in order to be sold on the shelves. Was it because of um, uh, Quebecois? The, the Quebecers? I mean, it's because of the fact that French is the second or the other official language of Canada. That is the government response. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right. They should ban it. They should ban it. You're right. I agree. She said it, not me. Il y a des Franco dans votre chat. I see them. There's Frenchies in your chat. Okay, so... Okay, so you're, you're telling me you, you only have one color of nail polish? Hold on. I'm going to call my mom and literally be like, Mom, yes, why did you... Yes, please call your mother. Let me have a why word Why did with you her. take my... She... I don't know. I mean, look, you you at some point live with your mom, right? And <laughs> yes, you know how moms are, like they just sometimes they just they'll just like take, Yeah. No, they'll just like take stuff that if they don't like it, if they don't like like a t-shirt that you wear or something, like they'll just take it and hide it. I don't know. Just take it and clean it and like Where and do where your uh, is my nail polish, mom? I can't find I hate it. Hate when that happens. <laughs> where is my nail polish? Someone Hello. clip Hassan just saying, Mom, where is my nail polish? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Dude. God. Okay, I'm just going to text you. I'm going to text you. Can you hear me? Okay, she can't hear me, I guess. So I'm going to text her instead. Is she watching your stream? No. Shout out to Hassan's mother. No, she never watched. And her family. She does You're listen to my podcast, apparently, but... But, oh, uh, I haven't just... I haven't listened to your podcast. Is oh, it wow, a, uh, is it an audio or video podcast? It's uh, both. It's video on YouTube, but it's audio everywhere you can listen to podcasts. It's called Fear and Malding. Oh, interesting. I have a podcast too, which I'll plug. It's called it. Simply Pod Logical. Simply it's like pod simply nail logical, but pod instead I like of that. nail. That's basically just my life. I just change the word nail. So oh, she did. Oh, she something. did steal it. Oh my God. She just said, it's in the cabinet in my bathroom. I was right. Well, she go get it. I'm going to do that. Hold on. Get as many. If, you, if there's more color options, please grab them. Okay. Okay. I'm going to lay this towel down as well. Is what I'm doing. That's okay. I'll just hang out with the chat. The really lovely chat tonight. How's chat doing? Um, does anyone like hollow? Do we know what hollow is? 
Do we need a lesson in hollow? Hollow means holographic, which means rainbows, which means like the best nail polish ever. <laughs> yes, hollow taco. So see the chat notes. <laughs> hollow taco is my nail polish line. I'm not biased or anything, but like it's really good. Uh, someone just asked a meaningful question. That's amazing in the chat about my criminology degree. Uh, yes, I have my bachelor's of criminology. I got it from Carleton University, which is in Ottawa. Then I have my master's in sociology, concentration in criminology, also from Carleton in Ottawa. I got so That's many. Are you ready? Let, let's see it. I don't even know what this is. This is like a freaky color. This is a cuticle oil. That's not nail polish. Okay, that's not nail polish. I'm going to put no. that here. It says cuticle oil. It's not nail polish. But you should use the cuticle oil on your nasty cuticles. It'll help them. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry that I roasted Canada. Okay? <laughs> Don't fuck with Canada. Okay, this is a two-in-one basin top coat. Okay, that's garbage, but we'll use it. LA girl. That's not me, but... LA girl treatment. That's you, LA girl. I'm a, I'm a LA girl. Yeah. Okay. We got pastel. I think this is definitely my mom's. This is not something that I got in the PO box. Whatever this is, pastel. I like that it's a color, so I'm happy. Okay. It's like the color of Canada, kind of. Yeah. Uh, and then this is pure pastel. It's white. Oh, is it white? <laughs> you don't need to read the brand. It I mean, does it look white? You no, it looks tan. Well, yeah, it's a little ivory. Yeah. Okay, so you, you have like an orangish red and you have a whitish eggshell. Yeah, and then we have the Expressier quick dry nail color and it's black. Okay, so that's what you used last time. I think so. So we don't have much to work with. Is what and I'd I have say. more Miracle Gel Sally Hansen and more Miracle Gel Sally Hansen, but this one is like... So I have Ooh, like a dark like blue. Well, it's like a teal. That's nice. Yeah. I like the burgundy one. The burgundy one kind of looks like murder, if that's been your vibe lately. Yeah, but I but I like black. Like, can we just not? I mean, I don't why know. Why don't Why don't we alternate? That's what I like to do. You want me to so alternate? Like, oh my god. Yeah. Look, you can spice it up. What if we do one nail black and then burgundy and then orange, like that orangish red. Like murder across your nails. Yeah. Okay. Like you could alternate. I feel like this is going to be crazy. Like this is. So can I, how do I see your nails? Are you switching cameras? I'm going to, I'm going to just do like, I'm going to put it down Technology here. Technology help. Yeah. Like this. So this way you'll be able to see my nails. And I'm going to turn off. You're painting Hassan's nails. Yeah, exactly. My hands look like this, so your hands can look like this type of situation. You know what I mean? Exactly. I don't know how to yeah. zoom them in, unfortunately. I don't know how to zoom my camera in. So this <laughs> is all we got. But hold on. Let me let me turn my camera on do you, real. Do you have any sponges? No. No? Does your mom have any sponges? Like, no. Like this. Like a makeup sponge. No. I, I mean, I don't know. That's like too hard. Too advanced? Okay. Yeah. I tried, chat. I saw someone ask uh, for you to try a gradient, but I think that's I think that's next year's stream. <laughs> gradient? That's crazy. Yeah, a gradient. Like, it kind of looks like uh, I have a dirty old one on this sponge, but you can see how it fades colors kind of. So what, what did you do? Did you just, like, dab it onto your hands? Is yeah. that how you did that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you paint the colors in the order of a rainbow or whatever color combo, and then you just dab it directly on. And then you kind of blend it nicely. Just as you would blend, like, eyeshadow or, you know, paint or something. Okay, that's too I mean, much. I guess you don't I, do I that either. No, 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 I can't do <laughs> okay, that. Okay, too advanced. We tried, chat. We yeah. tried, but he's not ready. Okay, so this is what I got. This is what's going on. So what do I use now? First of all, should I put the, should I put the latex... Uh, <laughs> Let's try hey. it. Open it up and show me, remind me what it is. Okay. Pretty it's simple like instructions liquid latex. here. Is it liquid latex? Like, just pull it out of the box so I can see. What the fuck? It's liquid it's peel liquid, off. It's liquid latex. Okay, yeah, so it's liquid it's, peel off cuticle guard, and it comes with this, like, thing. Uh, I don't think you need the thing. Yeah, you don't, you don't need the thing. Like a toothpick. So you're going to open that pink bottle, and you're going to smell it. Okay. Should I shake it first? 
No, you don't need to shake it. Just smell it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Got him. Smells Why does great, it right? smell like ass? Is it this liquid? Like... Is this liquid ass? That's what it's this li is. Yeah, close enough. It's liquid rubber. Jesus, I don't want to use this almost. Like, I feel like it's going to smell so nasty. I mean, you like smelling things, so that's all I was just, you know, predicting what you were going to do anyways. Yeah, I would have. Um, does... You're right. I would have smelled it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what that is great for is something that I uh, explained later in my video that I think you skipped that part when I was actually providing helpful advice. You just went I'm on sorry. to like the fish, the fish tier or something instead. I'm sorry. Something I have ADHD. clearly more important. Maybe it was whales. I don't know. I'm um, sorry. I have ADHD. <laughs> But you missed the part where I explained that this peel off stuff, liquid latex, you can paint messily around your nail and then you can paint your nail messily and then you peel off this liquid latex when it dries. So it's like quick cleanup. You just peel it right off your skin. So it, I feel it's like, like a cleanup I could, hack. I feel like I could also make shapes and then paint around it. You know what I mean? What if I put yes. like a, what if I put like latex in the, in the middle of yep. all of them and then I do two part. You, like one you're part getting is, ahead of yourself. I'm going to warn you that I'm just I think say, you're, I, I mean, think that's you're like, hey, I'm just giving you a, uh, I'm, I'm basically giving you like, you know, tips for what you can do advice. for your next video. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Simply nail logical, how to do like Moses parts to C type nails, you know. Oh, are you yeah. taking notes? Okay, cool. I'm it's, taking notes. That one's a freebie. Okay. That one's a freebie, Hassan I think. Hassan said to use liquid latex as nail art. Yeah, this is mansplaining what I'm doing here. What am yeah, you stop mansplaining me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were being able to say I have ADHD. Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> not what kidding. I said. That's I'm not what I said, Jet. Okay. Take take the pink stuff uh -huh. and paint it around your nail. Hold on. Let me see if I can demo. I think if I did this right, I can. Did I I did it right? Oh can my you god, this? you're so yes, bitch. you're so good at this. What the fuck? I am trying to be a streamer. You're uh, you're already incredible. You're better than I am at streaming already. So that's cool. I have streamed exactly five times in my life. You have like a sick ass camera too. Like mine are Logitech Brios. Okay, so what are we doing? Mine are Sony something. Okay, so this is basically the same stuff uh, that you have. It looks a lot cooler. Is it your brand? Yes, that's why it, it's cooler. Oh, hell yeah. What, it was a hollow taco. Is that... Yes. <laughs> the chat already knows. I see I saw a bunch of hollow tacos when I entered. Okay, so but it's sick. it's the same like concept, liquid latex. So you're gonna take it out of the bottle. Look at this. You're getting real advice. I'm doing the same shit as you. Hell yeah. Look okay. at us We're nail besties, and you're gonna paint it around your cuticle. Oh, I'm I'm just hitting it like on the on the skin, like right on the skin. Not okay. the nail, not the nail, the skin. So just get it around. I'm not sure what kind of brush that one comes with. Hopefully, it's a good one that lets you really get in and around there. Don't be afraid to kind of fill up really close. Because the closer you get it to your nail, the better the protection. That's right. Kids always use protection. That was Wait, a joke I'm used, already like, getting it on the nail, years. though, because I'm so bad at, like... Well, don't put it on the nail. What did I say? <laughs> Art, how, do I, how do I fix that? How do I clean that if I get it on the nail? <laughs> Uh, you can use that scraper thing, that wooden stick, and just kind of push it back. But li liquid latex dries quickly, so you got to be careful. You got to act fast. Okay, how about the chat just watches me do it because they'll get a better. Um, <laughs> they'll get a better. I mean, I think they know <laughs> how to do this stuff. They're they're. Oops. I have okay, my I got headphone. one. Look. Let me see. Okay. That, that looks good there, okay? You're such a so liar. So now that you have that, if you paint over that with nail polish, you'll be able to peel it right off. That's kind of the, the okay, hack. Should nail I start hacks. then? Should I do that? So I would, um, let's just, you have to let it, it dry. Is it dry? So here, I'll show you what it kind of looks like Can't as tell. it dries. Hold on. Eh, eh. So as it dries, it starts to turn dark pink. So mine is kind of dark pink on this side. So I think yours should look kind of the same. Yeah. So yours is close to drying. See how there's like some spots in it that still look wet? Uh -huh. So you have to wait. Got it. 
Okay. It, it's probably better to just like hit all the fingies, right? I think. Yeah. One fingy at a time. One oh, fingy one at, at a time. time. Okay. It's not a skin disease chat. The chat's saying it looks infected, which is funny because that was your uh, that was your take when you saw you watched a video when you were first painting your nails where you saw someone have this stuff on on their skin and you're like, oh, why is it red? It was this stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, look how far we've come. Wait, so <laughs> so which one should I use out of uh, all the nail paint? Like, I which... think you should do one finger. One fingy per color. One color per fingy. Okay, but like... Um, Is that too confusing for you? No, 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 no. I just don't know. Like, do I need a top coat or anything like that? Or is it okay. fine to just so do it? So, I'll, I'll, I get this question 800 times a day. Just like chat asks you to play Rust 800 times a day. And yeah. um, I, I guess I'll just scream at you the answer, right? That's what I should do. It's just mm -hmm. get mad and yell. So... You don't need a base coat. No. <laughs> you don't have to use a base coat if you don't care about it staying on a long time. So I'm going to assume that, that you, you don't really care. Okay, yeah. So if you don't give a shit and you don't care about maybe your nails staining, which they're not, they're probably not going to stain if you, you're just using nail polish as infrequently as you do. So you can just put the nail polish right on the nail. Okay. That was the angriest Canadian chat. That's as angry as they get. <laughs> That's it. it. Literally, they can't physically get angrier than that. No, no murder. Okay. So you you could put that liquid latex on all, all nails, but I also want to give you an enchant a chance to improve. So just just do it on the one and do your first nail polish on that finger, so you have that as a, like a backup. It's like a fail safe. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Miracle Gel, Sally Hansen, the the turquoise teal, whatever. What, what's the shade name? What does it say on the top? It says, uh, Jealous Boyfriend. Six, it's 676 six Jealous Boyfriend. I don't know if you can read it or not. Do we got any Jealous Boyfriends in the chat? <laughs> Why did they send me this? I mean, I like the color. Okay. That's a dumb name. Like, what the hell is that? Because like, all women paint their nails, just women paint their nails. Their boyfriends are jealous. Like, yeah. What? Okay, we're going in. I'm going in. I should, I should lay it down for sta stability, right? Yes. So perfect. I see you're resting your elbows. That's great form. Yes. So stroke it from the bottom to the top. A little, little longer stroke. Just get it up. There you go. Yeah. But just paint the whole nail. What are you afraid of? There you go. So many things. <laughs> Don't swipe too many times. This is not Tinder. Also, you don't need to make it like super thick. Don't be afraid if it's a little patchy. We're going to do a second coat to perfection. It's looking good. It's looking good. What do we think? Chat. I think he's doing good. I already good. fucked it up. But but wait, but wait, sir. You can you're gonna peel that off right now. So gr grab that little poker stick thing. Wait, that's it's now. The time is now. It's now. The time. It, it's we're doing it now. Okay. And I just get so, all the all the red, us, right? Show us. No, we we need to see the peel. Show us. This is this is the peel porn. Okay, this is what the chat has been waiting for. You're gonna. Oh peel my god. That off. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Wait, they can't really see from. It should come off. It should come off in one piece. There you go. Yeah, just pinch it and then peel it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. This is the moment. Yeah. Whoa! Get technology. It. Oh. It's not technology. It's it's rubber. It's but. nail technology. <laughs> That's the peel porn. Oh shit! I mean, it, I fucked it up a little bit. In the but front? like it was good, right? I mean, that looks good. I see like a little bit of uh, of pooling, but you, that might just be your application technique. Like you pulled it a little bit, but that did help, right? Absolutely. There you go. There's a nail little hack. bit in the front. I, I won't charge. I there's won't a little bit of that. nail polish stuck in the front of my cuticles. I didn't realize I had to also hit that part with the with the same thing. 
Like, there's a little bit of, uh, like, I didn't realize that the front is also an area that I'm supposed to be, uh, you know, putting the, the pink stuff to. Oh, yeah, that's another hack I should have mentioned. For people with shorter nails, you can put, um, uh, you can put it, like, at the, the front of your nail. So that way you can also peel it. So I'm, here, you guys want my peel porn? Okay, let's, yeah, the, let's see your... The, the chat just says, yes, Christine, peel it, peel it. <laughs> So I didn't actually paint my nails again, but I do have. Um... Oh wow, you have a you have a. Is that like a multicolored uh, tweezer? Oh. Yeah, it's rainbow chrome. Oh my god. Oh yeah, wasn't that good? That was good. Look at that. Look that at that peely. Good. It's rainbow chrome. See, look, it's all rainbow chrome. Wow. You jealous? You want one? I'll send you one. Sure. I will never use it though. What? You don't cut your toenails? What do you mean? I I bite my hand nails and my toenails. I either use my hands or I use scissors. Okay. The ones that I can't we're, we're just gonna like need to peel off with my hands. I'm going to need an address that's not your P.O. box because they don't ship nail polish. Okay, to Canada's most boxes. famous person, XQC, bites his uh, toenails with his mouth. Well, I don't I don't know him. I'm, I don't well, think I mean, know he's him. just from Quebec. We don't, that's just how we don't they know operate, him. I think. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You did good. I hope the chat also enjoyed my peel porn. I had to do it to them, you know? It's only fair. Okay. Do you want to um, know something funny about peel porn? Let's, let's hear it. I got demonetized on YouTube for having a video of my peel porn. Oh, because it said Not porn on the title. Yes. That's why. But yeah. it's funnier if you just think of it because of the nail peel porn. Hey, they were like, this is too good. It's true. Okay. YouTube was like, we can't handle this. Okay, next. Should I do it next, again? Um, let's just forget the Or should the I hit stuff. it raw without like the... Yeah, we're going to raw dog it. Oh, oh no. Okay, which color you choose this time? Okay, let's do the orange. The bright orange. Because it's the closest to red. Canada represent. Yeah. It's not pastel. I guess that's the brand name. Because yeah. that doesn't look pastel to me. <laughs> This is pastel nail polish. It doesn't say what kind of color it is. There's no label on the bottom. Oh, this is Turkish. Oh. Yeah, it says manufactured by A. Pinkar. Pinkar Kimyasa. I even got it. Osman Ghazi. That's cool. It's halal okay, let's certified. Let's see how it performs. Probably going to be bad. Okay, let's see. No, no So no peely porn on this one. No peel porn. You got it out of your system. But now you're ready. You're ready for the next step, okay, which is try. without help, without protection. I'm going to try. It'll be, it'll be a nice Turkish delight. All right, let's see how he does. So remember, light strokes. You don't need to, you don't need to go too hard. We can always come back for a second, second course, like you do with your chicken. I think you're getting better. <laughs> Why does the chat say such dirty things sometimes? <laughs> They're savages. Like, I don't understand. I don't even want to repeat it, but I also have a genuine question, like why this particular sentence is repeated. I'll let the people guess what it is because I don't want a clip of me saying it. <laughs> Guys, I'm too Canadian for this shit. Yeah, see, stop saying that weird ass shit. Like what? Oh, they're what saying I'm gonna come. Yeah, why? And, and then they say do not come. It's a Kamala Harris joke. It's Kamala oh, Harris went to Guatemala not, and said right, do not the, come. The, the immigrants. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Now I understand. Thank and you. And then Donald Trump had previously said like I'm gonna come. So someone spliced it together, <laughs> and we joke about it a lot. Oh, okay. okay, I fucked it up now a little I get bit. It. Hey, that's looking good. So what you can do is take that stick and kind of uh, here. Let me let me demo. You, uh, I see you have a little bit kind of stuck. You can just take that stick and kind of scrape it off while it's still wet. I recommend scraping it off while it's still a little bit wet. Yeah, that's what I'm doing currently. Yeah. Just don't go too hard. You don't want to like cut yourself. No, no. No murders. 
We don't have JCS on call. Okay, so although that can you have him on, please? The narrator. Oh, Kazume, fuck, fuck I think me. his name is. He's fuck, like fuck doing nails. I want the narrator of JCS Criminal Psychology on this stream. Okay, there you go. We got two. It's looking good. What do you think of the colors? Which one do you like better? Um, I think I like the dark blue better than the red, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's it's whatever. I, I was I mean, a fan of the black, like the full black one I liked a lot. Okay, we could do a black one. That's the beauty of it. You can do whatever you want. Actually, your nails are kind of looking like mine. If you had a mint, we would yeah, be twins. See? Yeah, see? I mean, it's basically <laughs> the same, uh, I think. They I look did that very on purpose. Sim- yeah, they look very <laughs> similar to yours. <laughs> you know? I'm turning you into me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm 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 a professional. I think maybe I should get into the nail business. Uh, I feel you know, like we need more male representation in true. nail polish in terms of like influencers. So I think we're ready for you. I don't know if the nail industry is ready for me. <laughs> I don't know. What is the nail industry? I don't. Do you know. think that's all I do? I'm curious. Do you think that like I just do nail art videos? I mean, I know what you do is your day job, but I assume that like yeah, you're... I mean, on, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, that's what I think. Yeah, no, is that not it? It's a it's a trick question. <laughs> Wait, what else do the, you do? The joke was is that I started as like a nail polish YouTuber, and then I stopped doing nail art in 2018 and haven't done it since because I just started making a bunch of dumb videos instead. Um, oh, you never yeah. do it anymore. I mean, that's not really true. I go back to it, but yeah, ever since well, I, I mean, made... your name is... Okay, well, that's false advertising. I know, advertising. that's the problem. That's the it's problem. It's false advertising. It's a simply nail-logical, okay? It doesn't say everything but nails. So I have a second channel called Simply Not Logical, and that's why I made it. Is it is it logic-based, or do you also do everything... Do you also avoid logic, kind of like the I, nails? Well, it's, it's simply not logical, so that would suggest... So, oh, so you're only logic-based. doing logical videos. It's everything but logic things. Okay. Not not logical. Simply not logical. Um, but yeah, I think if if your chat is like, who the hell is this girl? Some people might think I look familiar because I did the 100 layers of nail polish bullshit like in 2016 when that exploded on YouTube. So if people, I don't know, some people remember me from, from that time in my life, my career defining moment, if anyone ever watched youtube in 2016 or if you guys are only on twitch i don't know oh uh, no everybody on twitch goes on on youtube as well it's just that no you we have a we have a lot of crossover fans yes but why i don't know i have no idea because i was just about to <laughs> I say understand. i you suspect know, most people on twitch is n- like 30 <laughs> okay first of all you said saikuno is old uh younger and i'm, I'm older sorry. than him i'm actually younger than saikuno okay my bad for thinking that you just look like my age and thinking no, it's that fine. you I mean, I'm, I'm about to be 30 soon. I'm going to be 30 e? in July 25th. Happy birthday soon. Um, but I think maybe we have crossover because we're both like old, you know? No that one cares about old people anymore. <laughs> that could be it. We're, or, we're basically, or, we're boomers. We are boomers for the internet, for sure. Yeah. I think it's just because like, you know, I have... Uh, I'm just I'm just surprised that my audience imply it implies that my audience like actually takes care of themselves. So that was what was shocking that they like do their nails and stuff. How do you know how big is your woman audience? Do you have any statistics on that? Do you check your statistics? Um, I have no idea. I mean, it's like I've done I've done polling and it's it's mostly men. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, you literally say, "Hey boys, yeah, but I mean like I mean, non-gendered boys, you know what I mean? I know, I get it. Like I get it. When you say hey boys, I say hi, you know, yeah. just by myself in my room. Yeah. So I am also among the boys. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. Like, hey, it's the boys. I know. I I get it. I'm just that sort I'm of just thing. bothering you. All right, let's do are we we're doing okay. a black nail now. Let's do black since you want to go dark mode. Yeah. I'm emo. I'm very emo. Okay. Should I uh, not doing the cover yeah, thing. I mean, you don't need it. It's really for for beginners, but I feel like you took the training wheels off. This is what the second time you've painted your nails in your life. Yeah, but it's my dominant time? hand, so. Okay, so so wait, th- this is easier for you. 
with his dominant hand. Guys, he's not playing rust. We're painting nails. <laughs> no rusty nails. <laughs> yes, I'm reading the chat. I think your boy is doing, doing good. I think he's got a career, a future in uh, nail painting. Maybe it could be a routine. Like every, every femboy Friday, Hassan paints his nails. And maybe I just check in with him and like decide whether or not it's good. You know, I could just judge it. We could do it J JCS style. Like uh, this is the cuticle protection okay, technique. Okay, I fucked this up because it's like too fat. Like it just spilled everywhere. There's a lot of spillover. Are you talking about your fingers or? <laughs> no, no. The 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 coat is like <laughs> the coat was too much. Um. Okay. So you're laying it on a little thick. You're yeah. getting a little excited. So you got to go thin and be okay with the fact that it's not going to be opaque in one coat because you're using you're using Essie. I said it. Sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not the nailogical not. brand. It's not it's not one coat black. Yeah. Hashtag ad. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I did I mean, it. I I deserve it. Okay, it's like eleven o'clock at night, my time. I I, I know, I know. Tomorrow. I was I that's I felt bad. I was like, I made I'm you wait for so long that like I was. So do I you think I can scrub this? And, okay. Yeah. So. It's going to be tricky with black because with the darker nail polish, it is harder to get out of your cuticles and it might kind of stain there, but you could try. Um, another hack, I don't know if it's too advanced or if you have it on hand, but if you have acetone or nail polish remover, if uh, you happen to I, have I that floating so. around. Okay. No, well, I don't think I have it. I don't know why I expected you to have that. Wait, let me see. Hold on one second. Does Does mom have nail polish remover? Mom. I have base and top mom! Not here. Wait. Wait, this is a cuticle oil. Ah, oh, No, you don't want that. I don't have it. Okay, so we're just going to have to scrape. Or you can just leave it. You could just leave it. So what do you do? You just leave it Those and then options. it dries and then you scrape it afterwards? I mean, well, usually you would just paint your nails without going over the lines. That, that would be goal number one. But if that is not achieved, <laughs> then you would use nail polish remover, uh, with a like a cleanup brush or a paintbrush dipped into the acetone or nail polish remover, and then you would kind of trace your nail so you can clean it up. But that does require skill. I don't have if that. Have, yeah, so I'm getting ahead of myself. That that's level uh, four. Okay. Save that for next month. So the only thing you can really do now is kind of use that toothpick to scrape it out. Well, it's a little wet; it might come off, but it also might just spread the black everywhere. Yeah, we're, we're still on level zero, said the chat. The nail polish came to... Okay, I'm not reading this. <laughs> Guys, where are your mothers? They're, that's why they're on Twitch. They're, like, evading uh, Like, their my parents. chat is, is not like this at all. Yeah, because you're wholesome. <laughs> and what are you? Just, I have animals in my chat. It didn't yeah, work. Well, it only made hey, it you work. raised them. It's true. That's what they always say. They literally say, we are what you made us. Yeah. You made uh, us it's, this way. It's, it's family friendly on YouTube. That's kind of the rule. So I have to pretend to like families. Yeah. See, they're saying we are a reflection of streamer. Did this. Yeah. You raised them. Yeah. Terrible. I raised. I raised. By the way, my I'm wearing a gun mama. holster in honor of uh, my favorite Canadian broadcaster, Stephen Crowder. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, fuck! I thought you were gonna say me. It's like, excuse me. Uh, yeah. We don't know him. I don't know any of the words you just spoke. Take him. Just take him back. Come on. As a treat. I have no. I have no idea who you're talking about. He's he's literally Never Canadian. You can't hide nope. from this. <laughs> he's not ours. We do not claim him. He is the worst. He is all yours. Terrible. He's he's so awful. What is the what is up with like Canadians that get involved with politics that come to America? They're always so reactionary for some weird reason. 
Well, I think they go to America because that is the the better place to be if you want to be that kind of reactionary person. I thought they could. I thought where... they could just like stay in Alberta. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why can't they just go to Alberta and just be there? Because they don't get enough attention. That's true. You get more attention in America. That's, That's just true. the culture, right? Me, me, me. You know. You know, it's, it's messed up. Yeah. Wait, there's I'm another. Just... Who's the guy? The the chat. Who's the guy in the New York Times? The one that writes op eds. Is it Brett Stevens? He's a. Uh, he's Canadian too, right? I I don't know him. Ted Cruz. <laughs> you Do you, I get, I don't just know everyone who's Canadian. Ted Cruz is Canadian. <laughs> Okay, is take he? one back. If you're going to take one back, would you take... I Brett's... don't want any of these people. <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to ask you. Jordan Peterson. No, Cody Ko is ours. Cody Ko doesn't go back. No, he can come back. No, absolutely not. It's too Avril late. Levine is ours. Okay, that's all I'll claim. Justin Bieber Avril is Levine. ours. We, we, took, we took all the good ones. Justin Bieber is ours. Drake, Drake is ours. Drake, Drake, no. He comes back to us. No, no, no. You, I'm giving you the option. You have... David from Brett Stevens. These are both like op-ed writers from the New York Times. Okay, they're terrible. Um, okay, well, I don't want that. It's not a fair trade. You have Jordan Peterson and you have uh, Steven Crowder. What? Where's the women? This isn't I can't fair. Really, I can't really think of like any uh, any horrible uh, Drake, Canadian we women. Drake, Shania Twain, Avril Lavigne. Yeah, we'll keep those. Oh, Lauren Southern. Yeah, she's a straight Nazi, but she's in Canada. I don't think she's in America. I don't I don't know who that is. Most Canadian like YouTubers or famous people end up moving to America. That's so true. then they kind of and then they become your problem. So I know it's terrible. <laughs> they literally come here just to be like as reactionary as possible. Or it's, it's as famous as possible and it kind of works, right? It's like YouTubers moving to LA to collab with other big YouTubers. They they make more content, they live in houses. There's no houses to live in in Canada. Yeah, where you can make like, content. Because the, the entirety of Canada lives in Toronto, I think. Yes. So, the whole Canada. I grew up near Toronto, so. <laughs> that's okay. So that that could literally okay. Judging just by everything I know about Canada, that could mean like you live right near Toronto, like ten minutes away, or five hours hour. away. Yeah. So I lived an hour north of Toronto. Yeah. There you go. That's not up. right yeah. near Toronto. Then. I know, but we just say that to make it easier to understand. Yeah. I grew up in the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, uh, Richmond Hill, to be specific. That no one cares, but yes. <laughs> everybody's always like, yeah. Everybody's always like, oh yeah, I I live right by there. That's crazy. Anytime there's a murder from Canada. Is that your Canadian accent? Is that what I sound like? Kind of a little bit. No. Chad, no. do I sound like that? What? No, do you again? don't sound like that at all. Am I Irish? <laughs> no, that's not Irish. What the fuck are you saying? Like, no. <laughs> is that your Irish accent? That was a hate I crime. Don't know. I don't make accents. All that was I know terrible. Is British accent. That was okay. You're worse than I am an accent, correct. so that's good. Yeah. Um. I don't think I sound like a Canadian. I don't say a boot. You you definitely sound Canadian. I say about about. It's about time. A boot. I said a boot just a boot. to It's say about that. time. I, I literally don't know anyone who says it that way, but that is because I grew up in the city in Toronto Wait, and say Ontario. Say house. House. Okay, that doesn't sound that. Okay. You're, you're, you're hiding it now. Now you're just like no, speaking I'm not. American. Anyone can watch. There's like 500 videos of me. The only thing I say weird is eczema. People tell me that. Eczema? <laughs> But I don't think that's because I'm Canadian. I just think I'm fucking dumb. Okay, did you know that uh, tinnitus, like the way that t say tinnitus is actually tinnitus? I I didn't know that. That sounds fake, right? I don't know. Yeah. I'm, you're asking the wrong. I'm not an English major. What? It's a, it's a <laughs> it's like a thing that happens to your ears. It's decal. Like, oh, I say decal weird too. Someone in the chat just reminded decal? me. Decal? Yeah, decal. I don't know. <laughs> Decal? What the fuck? Wait, say Decal. espresso? Espresso? Oh, never mind. Someone said espresso. Espresso. I'm Francais. <laughs> say loonies and toonies. The chat asked me to say loonies and toonies. Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, you say sorry. Okay. Sorry. I All right, what should I, I, don't, what should I, don't I do with this? I don't have the stereotype you're looking for because I'm like from the city. Should know, I do black the, for all yes. of the rest of these? Uh, I mean, it's up to you. It's your your life. I don't nails, know, but yeah, but, but you're the expert. 
Um, okay, yeah. Okay, do black. You want to go hard? You want to go dark mode? Let's do it. You know what we could do? Is once you paint your, your pinky black, you can also add a black stripe up that orange nail, and I think it'll really complete the look. There's no shot I'll be able to do that. I think you can do it if you use the uh, SE brush, which should be a little bit thinner, so you can make a stripe, just like one quick stripe up the middle. Like a racing decal? Yeah, like a racing a decal, yeah. A racing decal? <laughs> okay. A decal, uh, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm going to go black with the, with the other ones. The problem with this is that... The brush is like it's fat. Like I don't know why it just like yeah. lays it super so wh thick. Which which brush is is Espressi. skinnier? The espressi one is like really no no no. It's like really thick. Oh okay, my bad. Um, so you won't want to use that one. You'll want to use the whichever as a thinner brush for your uh, stripe, your racing decal. Have you been to Canada, Hassan? He's busy. He's concentrating. I've never been to Canada. <laughs> uh, sorry, I have a really good. Uh, I have a really good uh, uh, noise gate, so you can't hear me. I said no. Oh. Okay. No. For all the shit you talk about Canada, I'm surprised that you've never even been. Rude. How rude. Maybe when the pandemic's over, I'll invite you to tour Ottawa. I don't know why anyone would ever want to come here. Unless you want to say hi to Justin Trudeau. Or you could come to Toronto and get murdered. Since that's all that happens here. That's a joke. That's a joke. Do not take out of context. Just look at the statistics. <laughs> you can come meet my prime minister. I live like 15 minutes away from him. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's something else. Yeah, he's he's I, used uh he's used polish too. Has he? What? Yeah, but not Where? nail polish. Too polish. Oh. I'm making a blackface okay. joke. That's what oh. I was doing. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's only my boss's 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 boss. Okay. So yeah, I yeah. I will offer no comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get yeah, don't get in trouble. Don't get me fired. Imagine my like actual boss was watching this. She'd be like, "What are you doing, Christine? We need to talk. Come into my office." Wait, would you do you ever get in days. trouble for things that you do in your nail videos? No, because I'm family friendly and I don't. So like, how do to get away with that. murder, Canadian edition, with your nails? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, sounds funny, but I don't think I could ever do that. I have talked about like crime stats or my day job, generally speaking, like on my podcast or in some of my videos. I had my boss on my main channel on YouTube and I painted her nails as like a joke video. Oh, that's pretty so, cool. Yeah, like I think the government's pretty cool. And that's, well, that's, you know, not I had a Canadian politician on my good. podcast or broadcast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Doug Meet Singh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played I Among I Us that. with him. Didn't you play? Yeah, I was gonna, just going to say you played yeah. with him and AOC, right? Yep. That's so cool. Partying yeah. with the politicians. Look yeah. at you. <laughs> Very sussy. I see uh, Jeg meet uh, around town on his bike. Damn, does everybody just live in Ottawa? Is that what it is? Well, if you work for the government, it's highly concentrated in Ottawa. Oh, true. Okay. I, I don't know what it's like. I guess it's like, is that like your D.C.? Yeah, like our Parliament Hill, which is not exactly the White House because no one actually lives there. It's just where the prime minister and politicians work, and it's our version of Congress, I guess, and laws are made around there. Almost uh, like it's yeah, the Capitol, wait. brother. Guys, I don't know anything about Canada. Yeah. I just know enough to talk shit. Okay, okay well, that's it. That's, that doesn't sound fair. I, I hope that I have, have inspired you to learn more about our country. We yeah. exist. We're literally right above you. The problem is the more I learn, the more I can shit talk effectively. So, No, the more you learn, the more you should be like, damn, I wish I was Canadian. No, I'm telling you, like, I, I, I will. You're only giving me more ammunition. To hate Canada? Not to hate. It's not. I'm just messing around. I'm not like, you know. I don't hate Canada. 
Canada is real. I'm That's really jealous. why I came on this stream. Uh, honestly, I'm just jealous of, of Canada because you guys have health care. Okay, I'm going to cheat this time. I'm going to use the <laughs> training wheels on this one. We do have health care. It's great. Oh, so bad. I'm sorry. I feel really bad. On I know like that, that sounded like a joke, but I have a lot of friends in the States and people who aren't like necessarily super famous and rich or whatever. And it's like really fucking crazy that you guys have to pay $100 to go see a doctor. That is insane to me as a Canadian. I understand. Yes, I am extremely privileged to have this right to health care. Yeah, that's why we talk shit. Now you understand. Well, you're, yeah, I mean, don't hate on us. No. You should aspire to be us. I mean, I We're try. We're aspirational content. <laughs> I try. It's, it's Americans okay. are... Your whole chat is telling me that $100 is not going to cut it. It's way more than that. Okay, see? Even I don't understand. Yeah, did you just say you thought it was $100? I feel like someone at one point told me that it would have cost them $100 to get a doctor's note or something, so they just oh, they didn't so bother. Oh, sweet. Is that yeah. cheap? That would be literally the cheapest fucking doctor visit. If you don't have insurance, it's like a lot more than that. Wow. Damn, guys. I mean, yeah. you are the greatest country in the world, though, right? Hell yeah, the greatest at, you know, incarcerating <laughs> people, that sort of stuff. Yeah. I mean, you do win at a lot of things. You, you won at, at coronavirus. We did. We, we got the high score. Yep. I just got vaccinated today. We did I'm win at that, at I'm least. I'm announcing we... it to your, to your chat for the first time. I didn't even tell my people. Wow. I'm Breaking fully news. vaxxed. Hell yeah. Is we travel were, uh, open uh, in Canada now, now that, like, people are getting vaccinated? I, I feel like there's parts of Canada that have, like, 50% uh, vaccination rate for two vaccines already. So I just got my second, but I'm one of the first, well, not one of the first, but, I, like, I'm pretty high, like, early on, I guess. I don't think most people have had their chance to get their second. Depends on your age group and where you live. And I was, like, waiting in line at 8 a.m. to get this appointment moved up. Like, I was really on the ball to get it this early. So we're definitely way behind uh, the states for sure. This is, What's like, the these? earliest I possibly could have fought to get it. it was because we literally just denied the rest of the world. I mean, we, we, we paid for it ahead of time for anyone else. Well, we only got more supply once Americans started saying nah to the vaccine. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's it's uh, great. We have so, we have a fuckload of you. people that just refuse to take it. Thank you, everyone who said no, because finally Canada got some supply. Yeah, <laughs> that's awful. But I, I'm fully magnetized, actually. Yeah, see, so now I this this is really interesting. Like this is what happens. It like sticks to me. That's crazy. It's so wild. Yeah, like, it, no, it, it even it, works with the rainbow chrome. Yeah. Trust me, it's, uh, you know, you're going to get better. You're going to, the 5G is going to start kicking in. You're going to get better coverage. You're going to get better cell coverage. It's, it's so much better. I mean, I am a spy for the Canadian government. So True. I'm a satellite. Okay, so right, I, I cake this one up on purpose because I don't want to fuck it up. That looks really good. That Thank looks, you. That's going to be such a sick peel. Mm. Thank okay, you. we're getting excited. <laughs> We're going to get a nice buildup. Okay. Now, be careful when you're painting this one. You want to paint them on even and smooth and try not to flood it. No floods. Okay. No floods. No floods. I'm, I'm hitting the side of it so I can, like, get rid of some of the extra. Good. That's a good technique. You got to lighten up. You guys are going to get what you paid for. How much do, are people paying right now to see you paint your nails? How much is this worth, chat, to you? <laughs> Zero dollars. <laughs> Zero dollars. Damn, I should have just painted my own nails on this stream. Would have got you some more bits. Subs? Bits? Yeah, people subscribe, which Toonies. reminds me, actually, it's top of the hour, and uh, I run an ad. After that uh, ad six, break? Like an ad break at the top of the hour, but yeah, this nail is so fucked up. It's got, like, crevices on it. Can you run a Canadian ad? Or do I you mean, have it a runs choice? ads in Canada. I don't, I don't uh, control the ads. It's like Twitch controls them. Can you run a Holo Taco ad? <laughs> if, you're, if, if they've bought ads on Twitch, like, it'll run it for sure. 
We bought ads on YouTube, but maybe we should buy Twitch ads. Yeah, it'll run it. If you bought ads, it might run it on as like inventory. It just depends. <laughs> I, I fucked this up a lot, good. which is good because uh, I'm really using the... I'm really going to get to use the, uh, the, the thing, the cuticle thing. You mean the liquid latex, the P? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, look, it's really bad. What did you do? I don't know. What? Hassan. Okay, this nail is really... Oh, my God. Really, you, that you gave me, like, anxiety. You what look was disgusted, that? dude. <laughs> please, please fix that. Ew. Okay, <laughs> I'm well... I'm exiting. <laughs> End the call. Okay, listen, listen. Okay. Should I double Let, down? Should I do a double coat? No. What did... Like, what did you do? Why did you... Know. Were you stabbing it? It looks like you were splotching. I was. I splotched it. What happened? You just painted three nails smooth and fine. I know. What? I fucked up. I got excited. Okay, I'm going to do a double coat. Okay, but do it smooth and nice and thick. You're going to have to. It, like, it, that looks like death. What happened? It looks like a murder. Nail murder. It, I got scared. and I Who started, did it? I, I, Hassan did it. <laughs> I did it. I, I fucked it up. I just, like, I got scared mm -hmm. and I just, like, dabbed it up. You're going to jail. I know it's it's nail oh murder. God. Like the the peel off tape can't help you. Wait, See, really? That's one thing. That, no, not with that because your your nail looks fucked. Well, my nail is fucked. It's already <laughs> a fucked nail. Oh wait, well, hold on. I gotta I gotta how run did an we, ad. We were making great progress. I know. I, I fucked don't... it up. I got excited and I fucked it up, dude. Not good. Oh not good at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm going what happened? To... What set you off? I don't know, but I'm gonna run an ad break right now. Chat. Sorry. Okay. Run it. It better be a Tim Hortons ad. Okay. It, it, it depends. If you're in Canada, it might be. I always see ads for movies. Oh, in no. there, get it. You can use your fingers if you want to try and... Or I guess you, you don't have nails, right? So you can't grab it with your nails. No. <laughs> I'm scooping it, though. It's working. We can't see. The chat wants the peel porn. You'll get more subs if you show peel porn. <laughs> ASMR peel porn, please. <laughs> I'll sponsor. <laughs> in a hot tub for that. Yeah. Is that how I... Should I get on Twitch in a hot tub? Is that... That's what girls do, right? Some girls do it. Um... It's still scuffed, obviously, because I fucked it up, but not bad. Right? Yeah, not horrible. Yeah. My thumb yeah, is really nasty to begin with, though. It's hard. I don't know what happened because all your other nails look great. That's a uh, lie, but thank you for lying. No, they, they look good. They look smooth. You know, I don't know what you did. It's like you just stabbed at it with the brush. I did. I fucked but it up. Yeah, but it's okay. You know, we all make mistakes and we all improve, hopefully. It looks like frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> Is okay, it all, it's not sorry, great. I, I just, it's not I just want to make sure that I, I'm not being too harsh here. Is your natural nail, does it have any ridges? Oh, I didn't so much. This. No, it's really fucked up. It's like broken. That's why it's okay, like Okay, well, that. why didn't you tell me? Now I, I look like an asshole. Cause I oh, didn't yeah, consider. no, my, my thumb is really fucked up. It's like, it's got like hella ridges on it. It's like... I was trying to explain that. Oh, yeah, no, you can see the ridges. Okay, now I understand, and, and now I'm literally a dick. Okay, so... Yeah, this thumb is, like, super... <laughs> like, That's just you... your natural nail. Wow, I fully shamed your natural nail without yeah. realizing it. And I, I mean, it's like... I mean, this one's kind of fucked <laughs> okay. up, too. Okay, it's... You didn't show me... Okay, there. You so is that? it the same? Do you see... Yeah. Well, the other one has way worse ridges, but this one's got some ridges, too, like, right here. Yeah, I know. I'm this ableist. Um, yeah, you're nail shaming. Not everybody has perfect I, nails. I'm can't. Simply Nail is canceled. Was it, I think that's a vitamin deficiency. I don't know. So it it's it can be, but I think more more than other people realize, just a lot of people have ridges in their nails, and sometimes it's because you, I don't know, like had an injury as a child, and it just kind of left ridges there in the the bed area of your nail, underneath your nail. So that's why it doesn't grow out. There's a lot of people have dents and ridges. If you yeah. have eczema, people eczema. in the chat are saying simply nail ballist. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's messed up. <laughs> They're right though. I'm Devastating. not a doctor though, so 
I mean, maybe you could check it out, but I also know that a lot of people just have like ridges in their nails. It's it's really not that big of a deal as long as you disclose it to me so I understand what I'm working with. Yeah, well, you should have noticed. Puppy nail acceptance, yeah. We got to normalize ridges in the nails. Yeah. It, so it got, doesn't mean you're fucked up. So I got, yeah, you're victim blaming. So I got <laughs> uh, three black nails, like one, the, these two. Yeah. And the thumb, and then this is red, and this is uh like blue. Should do I do the try same? A stripe? No, no shot. No, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck it up because the red one is like the best one I've done so far. Okay, yeah. I mean, we. You're right. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, you want to do your other hand? Uh, yeah. I, I, but I have to wait, right? Like I have to. Or do you want to play rust? Do you want to paint your other hand, or do you want to play rust? No, I have to paint my <laughs> other hand. I mean. It's fine if you want to. If you're bored, if you want to leave after making fun of my nails, like that's fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, after no, shitting I'm not all over my like cuticles that. and nails. No, no, no. I want to help you. Sure. No, no. I'm gonna. I'm On gonna finish painting journey. my nails. I don't want to do like one in one. You know what I mean? That's kind of weird. Yeah, you're right. You got to complete the fit. The look needs to be completed. Okay. Yeah. So the question is, do you want to copy like a back to back mirror from what's on one hand to the other, or do you want to do the inverse? Wait, show me yours. What do you got going on? I always have like a giant mess. So one hand is all the same, and then the other hand is just like random. Why is it like that? It always is. Literally for the past six years of my life, my other hand is always something different. Wait, just but is it always not? like the same? One hand is like always the same colors, and then the other one's like. Um, you know, it depends on the day. Depends on what I'm testing. I do a lot of testing, so sometimes I just have a a different fingy is a different color. Okay. That's just my life. I'm I'm a canvas. Okay. Well, I don't want to look. Said, it's, it's late over there. I can lady? I can I can do it on my own if you if you want to go to sleep. I feel bad. No, it's okay. I'm, no, no. I'm trust me. Like it's, it's not rude. I I swear. I'm being rude by keeping you here. That's you know. I'll tell my boss that I was up late giving really important advice on the Canadian government. Yeah, you're, and I you're feel fixing. Like, yeah, you're fixing the American Canada relations. Exactly. Okay. I'm here to reestablish the treaty. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going okay, to go let's, in. Let's paint your other hand. We got to start. We got to finish what we started. I'm really scared because I just did my dominant hand, and now I'm going to use my non-dominant hand. So It's good practice for you, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrified. I think the, the chat believes in you. Got to do your leftist hand. <laughs> Wait, that's your right hand. Oh no, you're doing your right hand. <laughs> we we can't hear him. Yes, yeah, so I'm the Canadian nail painting correspondent. Uh, there's someone in the chat who's like, "Who the hell is this lady?" Okay, I'm the nail lady, the old ass nail lady from YouTube. This is Chad. This is simply nail logical. Uh, she is, uh, she works with the Canadian government. She's you like, wouldn't have guessed those things would exist in the same sentence. Yeah, and she's also a, uh, professional, she's a, she's a nail artist. Is that, what would you consider yourself? I, I have no professional certifications in the nail polish field at all. Okay, but why like, do just, you it's just a hobby. specifying that? Do you have, is that why? like, do, do people criticize you for it? Or do people say like... No, well... There is a difference. Like there are people who are licensed nail techs and they actually went to school to get a license to be able to do things like gel polish on other people. I went to no school <laughs> about nails. I don't know the biology of nails. Wait, um, so other is than it, like what I Google. Oh, what? that's why you were making fun of my cuticles. Got it. Or my, my nail. Yes, because I'm not actually educated. I just uh. Googled everything about nails. I'm a nail art YouTuber. Like there's no real credentials there. Okay. I did my own research. Yes, chat. <laughs> She's a QAnon of nails, chat. No, please. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Talks about nails and then uh, about how the Democratic Party is running a sex trafficking operation. It's very strange. I'm just kidding. Help. He doesn't do that. Help me. Help me. Uh, yeah. Why do they keep saying hoggers? What's a hogger? Do you not see it on my screen? Uh... Hoggers oh, is looking. that is the here, I'll show you. This is Hoggers. 
Oh, it's not showing on the sidebar. On yeah. The other it's okay. A, it's a BTCB it. emote. That's why. Better TV emote. Okay. So I'm learning. So Wait, they're saying I, hey, you started I'm, the 100 layer trend. Is that true? Yes. That was me. I apologize for my my civil duty. Um, Wait, it is it like when, when people get like thick ass nails like all the way to do, 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 like it's 100? Yeah, that, that was me. That's crazy. I did it as a joke. I did it because my fans said, what would happen if you put on a hundred layers? Or no, they said, put on all your nail polish because they know I had like a thousand bottles of nail polish behind me. And that's kind of my set normally. And I was like, okay, let's try. It sounds like a great idea. And then I did it. And then now that video is like 25 million views. That's awesome. She's yeah, the was, reason. Was oh, so she's the reason it. my sister spilled nail polish on the sofa. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you feel about that? I'm sorry. I take full She's responsibility. Sorry. I'm going to jail. It's a nail polish crime. <laughs> which I assume is the reason why you uh, keep mentioning that you're not a licensed nail tech. Well, like you I go just to, feel like, you go to nail yeah. polish jail. Well, people assume that I have some education in nail polish and I just don't. So I just want to be completely transparent that I do not have that. I am an imposter. Among us. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, I did red on that one. So I'm going to do red on this one as well. Okay. Let's see it. I'm so scared. You should be. Hey, I have a question. Since I'm teaching you about uh, how to paint your nails, you yeah. have to teach me how to stream. What is a poggers? <laughs> it's an emote. Do you see it on my stream? It's a frog? No. What's a poggers? Okay, now the chat's catching. It's a frog. <laughs> Guys. Poggers is um, something that like Fortnite, like little babies who watch Fortnite would spam in Ninja's chat and it became like kind of uh, it became kind of synonymous with like anything that's baby shit, you baby? know what I mean? So it's not those little like pogs from the 90s? Because that's what I thought when I saw it. Those no. like cardboard pogs. Do you remember those? You're old too. You must remember those. No. No? Okay. I do I not I remember. A, but. A loner. But uh, no, Pog is like, Poggers is, Pog is derived from PogChamp, uh, which is like a old uh, fight. What was he, like a fighting community streamer who is like now literally a libertarian uh, and, and like reactionary uh, conspiracy theorist. But uh, back in the day, he was like one of the most famous emotes on the, um, okay. I'm giving you the etymology of Pog. So that was I, I want to learn. The so pog chain. So a lot of Twitch culture revolves around emotes, right? That's like the most yep. important form of expression on Twitch. And Pog Champ was a very important one. Um, and it's just this guy going like like this. Like you have to look at my the screen instead of the like this. Yeah, I, I see it. So it means the the guy with the face. Yeah, and he's like celebrating, right? And it was like, like very. I understand emotes, but yeah. I guess using using the word poggers was something I was yeah. like, what? So poggers basically is the is like the little baby frog version of that. Okay. And uh, basically, is just synonymous with like baby shit. So when we joke about like you know kids. Enjoying something like, oh, sussy, among us, poggers, 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 poggers. That's what so kids is it for say. kids? So, so, oh, so kids say it. Yeah, kids say it. Basically. So your chat is full of kids is what you're saying. I mean, my chat is full of kids, yes, as if you <laughs> haven't noticed. Well, this is daycare. Yeah. It's like, it's like kids and also adults who happen to behave like kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do that sometimes, though. I kind of get it. I want to yeah. stay young. You got to learn what the cool kids are doing. Okay, we're going to do... We're, I don't know. It's ready to peel, right? You think? Yeah, it looks dry. Okay, well, it's the same color as, like... You have to show us the peel, though. Let I me try? See. Show the chat. 
I try. Mom, I took like all of your nail polish. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. There you yeah. go. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> don't don't pull it too hard. Yeah, just enough. There you go. There you go. Oh, he got it. Yeah. That was a nice one. I'm uh, I'm getting I'm getting help from uh, Canada's number one uh, nail <laughs> polish specialist, nail tech. Not like Hi, mom. Hi, she mom. can't hear you. Oh. I'll just wave at her. Yeah. I see her shoes. Hi, She's mom. waving at you, but she's looking at the <laughs> other camera. Everyone say hi, Hassan's mom. Hi. You make great chicken. Well, she's she can only see this, but but you you're I fine. Can I can see her on the other screen. I'm I have it up too. <laughs> We like your Turkish nail polish. Wait, you don't like this? She doesn't like my. She doesn't like me painting my nails. The Turkish Why? people. Turkish people are not on board with dudes painting their nails. Let's be real. Well, you're you're changing it. Right? Yeah, you're I am. That. You're you're going against the norm, and we appreciate it. For, we appreciate you. Do you have for nail that. polish remover? Oh, you do. She has nail polish remover. She's gonna bring it. Thanks, mom. Your son's doing great. She's lying. She was making fun of my nails earlier. Yeah. Well, well, what about now? So she doesn't like them painted? I mean, she didn't like them when, it, when she kept asking me, like, so when are you going to, you know, when are you going to remove them? Why? Is that because they were black? So it's like kind of depressing? No, I think she didn't like, no. It's because like Turkish men don't do that. You know what I mean? Mm. Which is why like, yeah. which is why like every time, uh, you know, I... For the next week, Turks are going to come into my chat and ask me if I'm a homosexual over and over again. Like, that's literally, that's, they'll be, are you gay, bro? Are you gay, bro? So or, what do Turkish men do then? They don't do anything. They just, like... What they, kind of manly things do they do if, if not painting their nails? They do, you know what they do? They do oil wrestling, which is, like, which is the gayest thing you can do, literally. Wait, so they slather themselves in oil? Yeah, they and slather like, themselves hug? in oil... And they wear, wait, what's that? What's that? Here, show, what is this? Nail mask? No, I have that already. I'm using it. What is it? I have I want to hear been. more about the Turkish wrestling. Just Google it. Wait, uh, trust me. Google Turkish oil wrestling. Uh, and then this is what she gave me, but she doesn't know that I already have this. It's a nail mask. Oh, so is that liquid latex? No, it says hydrate peel off. That's like nail care. You, you obviously don't care about your nails, so. I'm literally Mom, Googling I know. Turkish I have it wrestling. here. I've been using it. Yeah, Am I gonna and it's still this? bad. I know. Oh, my God. Wow, that's really naked. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's, you can show Turkish wrestling. Yeah, I can't show it on stream. Like, if I'll get you banned. You cannot show it. It, it is, it is right. way, way ri more risque than uh, hot tub streams. It's not gay at all, though. I no. think painting your nails is more. Yeah, they, that's what they think. Unironic Unironically. Yeah. There's a move called the hook, and it's exactly what it sounds like, where you're supposed to shove your finger in the other dude's, like, a, a whole bunch, like a big chunk of the um, Turkish oil wrestling revolves around like trying to stick your hand in the like skin tight leather pants because that's the only way that you can get a grip. And what? The hook like is, in the pants? Yeah, because there's no other way to hold on to the person because he's oiled up. So what you were supposed to do is literally <laughs> shove your finger in their ass and like maneuver them that way. Have you ever done this? No. Sounds like no, because you know I'm not manly enough. I'm I'm too I'm I'm real gay and and pay my nails instead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know, it sounds very manly. So maybe yeah. that should be on your next. I mean, it list can be. I think it do. is manly. These guys are mostly dudes, but you know, it's still gay, which can <laughs> be manly. But you, can... you know, the first picture that comes up is literally someone with his hand down someone else's pants. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. I wonder if that could be the next Twitch genre, Turkish wrestling. Yeah. Um, I think there's like a big, there's like a big gay tourism that uh, happens to Turkey because of it. Like people literally go, like gay people go and, and watch. 
People want you to wrestle. The chat's saying you should wrestle. Who would he wrestle? They already um, know Will. Steven Crowder? <laughs> no, they want me to wrestle Will, my uh, my best friend. Okay. Will. All right. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's been decided. You will stick your hands down your friend's pants. Definitely not. <laughs> rice he would gum. Love it. No. Wrestle rice Absolutely gum? Not. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No. Chat, no. <laughs> Do not grab the rice. Okay. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm I'm going to use the cuticle, like, cheat code every time, I think, because... Do you like it? It's a good hack, right? It's a decent hack. It's just because, like, I'm so bad. I, there's no shot that I would ever be able to do anything halfway decent without this. Also, the for the record, chat, I, I could beat race gum for sure. It's not even a joke. You definitely can. I could. <laughs> I could bench more than rice gum, so I could take him. You definitely can. <laughs> this Canadian. Let's go. I'm just kidding. I hate violence. No violence. <laughs> I gotta... No... Fucked it up already. Yo, I'm surprised like half your chat knows me and they actually know. And then the other half does not know anything and they're just very confused. It's kind of, it's really fascinating. I have, I have, uh, yeah, I have like interesting uh, community Audience overlap business. like that. But, but also um, it makes sense. It's because half the chat is used, like half the chat paints their nails and the other half has never taken a shower. <laughs> So. That's the polar opposite of painting nails, is having never taken a shower. Exactly. Are, are you lifting right now? What do you mean? At the gym. I am, yes. Okay. We need more Instagram videos. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been posting too much. I got to get back into it. I, 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 it. COVID fucked me up. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I had to build a gym in my house, in my nail polish room. There's literally a barbell and a cage. So it looks like a prison. I have um I have a gym in my uh in my apartment as well, but wait, someone said gyms are illegal in Ontario. Wait, really? So they were shut well not illegal, I don't know if that's the word, but they were shut down for the better part of a year. It kind of went back and forth because our restrictions that the province put were were a lot, and they lasted a long time. I think gyms only opened up recently. Although I, I stopped going to the gym because I just started working out at home, so I, I'm not actually sure. Oh, oh no, okay. Apparently they're still closed. I'm wrong. Yes, fact check me. They're still closed, and they've been closed for like I don't know eight months or something. That's crazy. How crazy is that? See, what, us in Canada, we are suffering. Can't go to the gym. What the fuck do people in Canada do if they can't get a, get a home gym? Just lift some moose. Moose, deer, whatever animals you can get your hands on. Okay, now you're now you're just taking advantage of me not knowing about Canada. Okay, I know they don't lift moose. <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, I know. Meese. We lift meese. No, that's not a word, guys. <laughs> No, I mean, I used to go to a gym, but I was forced to make a gym in my house, which was not easy because I literally have to deadlift beside 2,000 glass bottles of nail polish, like eight feet away, uh, which is as dangerous as it sounds. That looks good. <laughs> so, We're about to find I mean, out. Well, I mean, it looks good because you've got the protection on. So now you're going to peel, peel it off while it's still wet. By the way, I know you've been doing that so far, but just, yeah. you know, because since the chat really cares about the advice we're getting out of this, yeah. is you would, you'd peel off the liquid latex while the polish is still wet. For you guys result. lift buckets of, of maple syrup. Yes, I guzzle that shit too for breakfast. That's oh. my pre-workout. It's maple syrup. 
Real maple syrup, not your garbage corn syrup. Okay? That shit is garbage. Every time I go to America, I go to like Perkins and ask for maple syrup. It's it's not maple syrup. It's a lie. Have American you do maple. you know what real maple syrup is? Yeah. Are you I sure? Yeah, no, I I've had it. They I think they I've had it. It's like a little bit tangier, if that's the right term. Like it's not as it's I, I kind of like I kind of fuck with the corn syrup maple syrup. Not gonna lie, you have no taste. I'm serious. I feel like it's 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 like too much. The the Canadian maple syrup, like real maple syrup, is like too mapley. Okay, you're not gonna be allowed entry into Canada if you say that to a CBSA agent. So you better be careful. Wait, really? If you ever want, <laughs> no. I feel like. You're banned from Canada. Wow. Wow, I'm Canada very we'll similar in, to America. We'll there let you, you in because because we're nice. You you may come to Canada. Pretty good. There, see, I like it. So, are you mirroring your hands? Yes. Yeah. So you need black next. On, yeah, I'm just gonna do black uh, for the, the rest of them. Fingies. Yeah. I I kind of like this this look. Like Harley Quinn, I feel like I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like it. It's a little weird, but hey, whatever. Fuck it, we're doing it. We're going with it. Enjoy your tea. You going with Amaria? I got tea. And then I can do this. Like if I do this, if I ever like <laughs> only show these two fingers, like everyone will think like, oh wow, he has like different color nails. Like boom, no, it's black. Like or if I do, do this. Do you see now? Do you see now how painting your nails different colors like that can really create your own kind of personality, your own vibe, your own style, your own message? Yeah. So you could do like cool ass colors on some fingers. Your thumbs could be a different color. You could do purple for Twitch. Or something. Everybody's saying hi, Bean. Ben, yeah, he just came and brought me my tea. I'm t it's, see, it's they're all fans of you. Everybody knows. <laughs> They're saying it that way because I say his name like ban, like really annoying. Ban? That's the joke. Ban. Yes, chat. Ban. The T man. Come back. <laughs> the T man. They love seeing Ben. He's, yeah, he brings me tea. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to get, I think I'm going to leave the thumb last. Is, uh, you know, you, you owned me on the thumb last time. Okay, I'm I'm really sorry. Yeah, I no, didn't mean to insult no, your natural good. nails. No, it's, I should it's, have considered your life circumstances and everything yeah. that led up to your nails getting like that. You know, being born in America or no? Yeah. you weren't born in America, right? Is this the guy like, with the ugly nails? Oh wow! Oh wow! Now you brought Ben into this. This is messed up. <laughs> I, I can't hear it. But I know he can't hear. Which I is thought good. I thought I thought we would Say have some solidarity. Want. Wait, can I see his nails? Are his nails, nails painted? Yeah, they are. Oh, of. they are. Oh, shit. They look dope. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Here, put it here. Put them down. So Ben is wearing, what are you, pink? That's the name. With a matte taco to make it matte. And then he's wearing, uh, I don't know what happened here. Like, he picked that off. We're wearing the same color. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> We're wearing the same color. Okay. Aww. This is Twitch, hell. okay? <laughs> He's got great nails. So cute. I know. He does have great nails. That's why I'm with him, you know, for the nails. <laughs> yeah, I see. I, okay. I, there's perks. The whole chat is saying that we're so wholesome. You guys, you don't, you don't know me. <laughs> It is very wholesome. It's very cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Like, is there a trick? Do I get better at this eventually? I, I hope. Yeah. If you keep going, you become like me. Most people okay. just get this shit done, right? Like by nail techs, I think. Yeah, most people go get this done by people who are licensed professionals. But then other people, like myself, it's kind of relaxing. It's kind of fun. It's like a DIY hobby. And I don't know, I kind of find it, like, relaxing to do my own shit. And you can like, make a YouTube channel hair. out of it and then stop well, doing I, nails. I started, 
Yeah, I started uh, doing nails way before my YouTube channel. I just always liked painting my nails. In school, it was kind of fun. I painted stripes and like checkered flags and shit. And also COVID, um, nail salons, at least in Ontario, were like shut down just like gyms were. So people had to paint their own nails like you're doing now. True. By the way, chat's telling you to download BTTV uh, so you can what, see the emotes that? and stuff. It's an application that allows you to see all the emotes in my chat oh. and in your chat as well. It'll, it'll greatly improve your experience as a Twitch streamer. It's like the first step <laughs> from moving on from being like a YouTuber to a full-fledged hey, uh, Twitch streamer. Hey, I, I, okay, so I get it, okay? I'm not as cool because I stream on YouTube. No, no, Twitch, no, no, right? it's not even... Oh, wait, have you streamed on Twitch at all or you are streaming on Twitch, no? No, only Oh, you're YouTube. not. Should I stream on Twitch? Because I don't understand. And also, no one knows me on Twitch. Like, I feel like my audience isn't there. And I listened to some guy's advice about choosing where to stream. And he said, stream where your audience is. And I... I mean, yeah, it's, it's harder to build a... It's harder to build a community if you don't have, like, a built-in audience here. But, I mean, there's clearly plenty of people here that uh, know who you are and are excited. If I could figure out how to stream on both at the same time, do people do that? This is a technical question. Twitch won't allow Asan, you to become you a partner. What? <laughs> Twitch won't allow you to become a partner if you do that. That's not something that... Uh, oh, exclusivity. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so you, you sold your soul to Twitch then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. Exactly. That's why you got to do the top of the hour ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top. Literally. Yeah. I didn't sell my soul to anyone. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Except to the government, yes. Wouldn't YouTube pay you better, though? Not that you just care about the money. Yes, we know you are a humanitarian who cares about the world and equality. <laughs> but I, I guess I have no idea how much you end up getting from Twitch, other than a lot of it is subscriber-based, so your your chat is paying you but you also have ads so i don't really know how this how does this work not that you're gonna answer i'm totally putting him on the spot but chat tell me how does this work what is this world hassan's a multi-millionaire so what? i so i make the bulk of my sorry i was i was hyper focusing to make sure i don't fuck this up uh, I make the bulk of my revenue from subscriptions. I make the, almost all of my revenue from subscriptions, like the $5 a month subscriptions that people in the chat uh, give me, right? So what's ads? or? Uh, I, I ad also run ads because Twitch contractually asked me to run ads. And but I negotiated to like run... Ads? What? Do you get a cut of those ads that are yeah, run? Yeah, yeah. We, we get like ad revenue as well. Uh... I, I negotiated, like, most people run three minutes of ads. Some people run six minutes of ads an hour. My ad density mm -hmm. is the lowest Okay. Um, on the platform currently, like, out of all the big streamers where I run only 60 seconds of ads. Um, and that's pretty much it. But, yeah, no, the, the revenue I generate from Twitch in the form of subscriptions is, is very, it's just, like, Something that is almost impossible to match with mm, YouTube. Interesting. I'm like the complete opposite. I have no money generated from subscriptions, but that I also don't offer any. Yeah. Uh, well, YouTube subscription model is like very, very outdated. And also the new things that they're trying to do are too new. So they don't really have that. So they have memberships. Yeah. On, which I guess is the same thing as like subscribing to a Twitch channel. But for me, my channel, my main channel gets so m enough views that the ad revenue is like, I can't, I can't see subscribers paying that much to me directly. Yeah. Um, YouTube ad revenue is probably great for you because if you do like family friendly stuff anyway. Yes. Yeah. So I would have higher ad rates like per view. Oh, shit. Because I'm family friendly. I'm in Google Preferred or whatever it's called. They're Ooh, like, I'm a you girl, you deserve that. Not I wonder so if I'm a Google Preferred partner. Probably not. Well, I don't think... I think you would know. I would know, probably. You're right. 
Oh well, wait, you're on YouTube because you upload clips from your streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah, have yeah. a, I have like a, like a professional. Oh, so you know, you know how much you can get off ads from YouTube. Yeah. Okay. My, my content a, is different a, than yours, though. It, it's not the most. Yeah, mon- but it's, it's it, not just that. Like it also depends on. On the most I monetizable think, content. <laughs> If you know what Are, I mean. Oh, actually, I'm really interested in that answer. Is a lot of your stuff that you post on YouTube, is it demonetized? A bunch of them get demonetized, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I don't have that problem. Only my, like, peel porn stuff or whatever. I've had, like, oh, no, my most popular video ever was demonetized. Why? Like, three three years after posting. It was polish. It was 100 layers of nail polish part two. They demonetized it because I said fuck in the beginning. Oh, in the first 30 seconds? Yeah. Why didn't you just censor it out? Because I made this video before the adpocalypse, which is when they introduced all these rules, and they demonetized my video like two years after it was up. No, no, but I mean like why don't you just, YouTube lets you do post-production a little bit. So I tried, but the word fuck was also there because I was reading the mean comments from the first 100 layers. And so the combination of the audio and the visual was just, I was unable to censor it. And I just decided I'm not going to like sacrifice the first 30 seconds of my video to put ads back. So I just was like, fuck it. So yeah, it's demonetized. That's like my most popular video. It's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. That well, in- if I'm being honest, most of the ad revenue was made at the beginning when it first went viral. So I already got that. They just demonetized it like two years later. Yeah, all of a sudden, two still, years later, it still it's probably bad. generates a fuckload of, of revenue for you if if it wasn't yeah. demonetized. It would. It, a big video would. like that. It, that's like that's gonna constantly generate revenue for you. Yeah, I mean, you're I, you right. know that already. You know that better than I do. So. Oh, yeah, telling. the historical most viewed videos do really well for residuals, but yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, YouTube was like, nope, you've gone too far. <laughs> I so I no did. longer say fuck in the first 30 seconds. I yeah, say you it can't after. do that. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You know what? Hey. I, I'm I'm digging this. This is this looks a lot better than last time, straight up. Like See, your presence. You're getting better. Your presence have uh, has has greatly improved my my uh, nail painting. I'm changing your life. We we are saving lives. Here you go, chat. See, isn't that fun that you can stick up your middle fingers and now they're like a unique color? Yeah, no, I like it. Just be careful not to smudge your other nails while yeah. you're doing that. Do you have a taco, a top coat? No. Yes, you do. Because you what showed do I it do to with me that? like an hour ago. <laughs> but I shouldn't put it on, right? It's like that only like prolongs the... You Okay, so do you want to go to bed tonight? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to put on a top coat so you can seal the polish. Because if you don't, the polish is going to smush into your bed sheets and then maybe even come off and like just Wait, get nasty. really? <laughs> yeah. It stays because- on for that long? Well, nail polish doesn't fully dry properly if you just leave it like that. Like, I mean, it will dry to the touch, but if you go to bed and you like, you know, push your nails into the sheets when you're cuddling with your pillow or something, it might just smush it further and even potentially rub off. What the fuck? I did not know that. Yeah. So you got to save that, save your nails from your body pillow by adding. Not my body pillow. Oh, no. Okay. But does it does it make it does it make it last longer too? Yeah, but like not really cuz you already had not the best nail prep. So it helps, but I think ultimately you want it because it's going to quick dry your nails better. So you won't run into the issue. Like are you going to wash your hands? You're going to go to the bathroom after this? Yeah. If you do that, well, if you do that and you haven't put a top coat on, you run the risk of just like smudging the polish and it's going to like get on your finger. It'll get off on the towel cloth. So you don't want that, right? You don't want to ruin mom's towels. Yeah, no, they're my towels. <laughs> but yeah. Um, no, okay. Oh, he doesn't wash his hands. Just saying I don't okay. wash my hands. Okay, that's yeah. not true. I literally wash my hands before I did this, okay? I just don't wash my hands after I pee when I'm in my own we house. Proof. We're, we're going to need you to provide proof. Video evidence. I don't want... <laughs> I'm saying I don't wash my hands after I pee. 
in my own house. Okay, we don't, we don't need more information. I was not actually curious. I'm just saying, this. like, why? Why would I do that? I mean, it's like, it doesn't make sense. I, I hook <laughs> why, it. I don't touch why anything. Why would you admit that, though? Because I, I don't know. I don't touch anything. It's, like, not dirty. I, 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 you I don't defend. touch anything. I think it's a defensible position. <laughs> not washing your hands after you pee is a defensible position. Not washing your hands after you uh, poop is an indefensible position. You always have to wash your hands after you poop. But if you pee, I don't think so. It so just this depends. isn't the stream I signed up for. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. but <laughs> okay, you had a top coat. I saw it. You showed it to me. Okay, I'm going to put it on after I'm done with the, with the last okay. two. I got two nails left. Okay, let, let's go. I got work tomorrow. I know. I'm sorry. You can, I'm, I'm by just, the way, I I'm promise, bothering you. I'm fine. promise you can leave anytime you want. I promise. It's not a big deal. I'm so sorry. Like, You've been here I'm for having, way too long already. Uh, no, no, no. It's fine. I'm having fun reading the chat. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm an old lady. I go to bed early. I work for the government. I drink my tea in the morning and I paint my nails. I live the simple life. Uh, I do wash my hands. After I pee, though, generally speaking. Wow, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Cheers to, to boomer tea time. <laughs> we got a fancy lady here, chat. She, yeah. She, uh, she washes her hands after she pees. I Must mean, you nice. got to take care of these hands. Like, it's true. look at this hand. I am literally a hand model. That's true. I, I am not. I, I have terrible hands. Like, even the inside. Look, even my, even the insides well, of my I hands are crusty. I have that too. The, the calluses. Yeah. Yeah, you live. Even the insides are crusty. Look, outsides are crusty. It's nasty. Look how nasty that is. People yeah, don't exactly. realize this Ew. about me. Ew. Ew. I'm just kidding. No, but you, you need those like they're good but i file them down actually if you, you file your hand hat. crust down <laughs> yes what the Hold fuck on. how um, i don't have one here but if you use like a shitty emery board like the cardboard looking ones from the drugstore you probably have one lying around somewhere like if your mom had some stuff uh i use that literally on my calluses to file them down for maintenance and then it's you put some moisturizer on it okay it's, it's what pretty you funny it's pretty funny how many people just self-reported that they've never worked out because they're saying they like are shocked that you have calluses in your hands Why? and it's so obvious it's just if you've never lifted weights in your life you're like what the oh, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what yeah. like but yes this is a very normal thing that happens to people who have lifted who for many lift. years people who exercise it's called exercise well, yeah. it's it's not that i'm being an asshole it's yeah it's a particular type of exercise i guess but i guess uh is it because like i'm a i'm a woman so people don't expect that no i, I think it's because no, no no i know as soon as you said you have you you work out i knew you had hand calluses everyone who lifts has hand calluses people don't realize that i work out because i don't like you can't see it <laughs> it's like everyone's about well, no, but I'm always wearing hands. like hoodies and shit. Yeah, good point. But you don't see it otherwise because I'm always wearing hoodies. Yeah. That's a Canadian life. It's too, it's just too cold. Yeah, Get I don't understand gloves. how you, you guys can't... live there. It's so weird to me. The, the chat cold. doesn't understand. They think that we should just wear gloves. Okay, you, yeah, no. you can't do oh, yeah, that because you need to work on your grip. And you need a good connection with the bar. And gloves can interfere with both of those things. Yeah, bar, but, I but mean, gloves are awful. And it's like fucking warm in your hands. It's like, eh. I don't like it. I, mean, I hate gloves. I'll, I'll wear gloves if I'm doing pull-ups only on a metal bar. Because otherwise, my hand skin will literally rip off. But other than that, I don't wear gloves. You can wear tape, though. I've, I've put tape on sometimes. Yes, I know it's super hot in, in Ontario. I'm joking. It's like 30 degrees. Or you guys don't speak that language in America. It's 30 degrees for us in Celsius, which is, I don't know, 100 Fahrenheit? 
<laughs> it's about I actually wrong. forgot what the conversion is now. I I, I grew up with Celsius. And now I, I never don't understand eat. because your freezing isn't zero. And that yeah, makes no so sense dumb. to me. It's 32. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero. It's the best country in the world, though. Yeah, it's the dumbest. I, I, I totally agree with that. We don't have the metric system, which is really fucking stupid. It's broken my brain. Like that, that conversion has, the conversion has officially broken my brain because it's like, um, now I don't know what a fucking, now I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what a, uh, what a feet looks like. You know what I mean? Like, I can't judge distances. It's broken my brain completely. That Here looks good. All right. There's a little your, bit of your a nails boom. are looking better. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of becoming a professional at this. Watch out. What do you have left? Your it's thumb? Just my thumb. That's it. And then after that, I'm going to apply top coat. Wait, is there, are there tricks to the top coat? Is there like a scary part of the top coat that I should know about? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a jump scare. No, there's no scary parts of the taco. <laughs> I just don't, no, I, I, I don't know if it's like, uh, there's like a professional a, way of doing it or something. So it's, it's basically like, um, do you know anything about cars, like car painting at a body shop? No. Really? No, nothing. How do I know more about that than, than you do? The manliest know. Turkish man doesn't know anything. I am incredibly... Auto body shops. I am, I'm very uh, honest about my lack of interest in all the traditional masculine shit. Okay, chat, do you understand uh, literally vehicles painting my nails. that go, go to an auto body shop? I grew up in a car shop because my dad had one when I was young. Um, but basically, if you take a car to a shop and you need to get, like, your fender re repainted, they will paint it with color, and then they will put a clear coat on. Because if you don't put the clear coat on, the color is just going to get a bunch of chips and dents in it and would just rust all over and would just look nasty because it can't withstand the elements of this world. So the, the top coat and nail polish is like the clear coat on the car. It's quick drying, it adds protection, and it's basically essential. And in, in my non-professional opinion. I just want to I'm point out that you've passionate. gotten progressively more Canadian as, uh, as the night has progressed. How? What I don't I know. Do? You, no, the way you speak has gotten progressively more Canadian. Than, what did I do? Like I an accent? No, was? yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you have a, like a thicker accent. Than chat, you, than you did when you him. first started. Is this true, chat? They're just saying cuke. I don't know what cuke means. Is that like the new way no, of spelling cool? No, they're saying cool? pussy. Oh, it's car <laughs> pussy. It's from the it's from the Pixar cars. Like if there are car babies, like they must have car pussies and car dicks. Okay, so they say cussing. The I I do not know. This any. is the, this is the worst community on the internet. Uh, it just doesn't make sense, guys. Wait, I'm what do you mean? How, how do you think they have uh, car babies then? In the animated They're series, cars. They're manufactured by robots? What? No. They, they have to like, well, they get in love. They, they fall in car love. How else would they reproduce? Right. Okay. I didn't know about the reproductive car industrial complex. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. See, you, you live only, and you learn. Nail polish industrial complex. That's my domain. You know okay, what? I'm going to do blue on this. Fuck it. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to change this thumb up. Okay. You do that. But wasn't there an episode of My Strange Addiction where a guy falls in love with a car? Yes. Like, that's, that's real. That's real shit. Yeah. That's a guy who loves the, his cussy. He made out with it, if I recall. That's some good content. <laughs> Okay, your chat says that you're embarrassing them, which is funny because I think normally it's the other way around, but you've managed to embarrass your own chat. Good. <laughs> now they know how I feel all the time. <laughs> this takes so long. It's like a crazy Yeah, long right? Process. But like, that's why it's so good for a live stream. So the five live streams I've done in my life, I painted my nails and it took like two hours because you get distracted by the chat. But if you were painting your nails without me or talking to anyone, it would probably take you like 40 minutes if you're being careful. 
So not as long. I guess. But you, do you want to know what I do while I'm painting my nails on my own if I'm not filming something? Is what do you I do? watch your I watch your stream. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. But not when you're playing Rust. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> we got another one. We got another non gamer boys. <laughs> my um, you know you've uh, you've actually called me and probably much uh, other people like my demographic out when you literally say oh all those people who joined during the election and then they only watch me for politics and then they leave every time I game yeah, yeah. Th that's me that's me I know there's a lot there's a lot of you out there it's all good hey it, it, I, I love everybody in my chat except for the people who are no, fucking annoying no 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 I do I really do it's just like but there are some people that are like insane and why why are you so polite right now is it because i'm around because you were you were being a huge asshole right before i was around am i having a positive influence on you no 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 i i go through phases where like it's really 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 frustrating for me whenever i mean listen when you do live streams just wait until your audience is like even more parasocial with you than they are currently and you'll understand. It's like it gets unbearable sometimes. You got to yell at them and like keep them, in, you know, make sure they're you know in line, establish boundaries because I mean, they go crazy. I, like yeah, they backseat what I eat, how I eat. It's like it gets out of way out of hand, and I have to. Well, like, why don't you just like I ignore it if someone like easy. I get mean comments too. Obviously, people say my hair looks like a horse or. I have no lips. I should get surgery. They say I, your I get, hair I looks get like a shit. horse's? Yeah, because it's really long, so I have horse girl hair, apparently. You have horse girl hair? That's funny. Yeah, yes. There you go. This is perfect. I did it, except for the spillover. But other than that, it's pretty good. You so you make, could you could clean the spillover with a Q-tip and that nail polish remover. Oh, yeah, true. You just take, take the Q-tip. Okay. And then, do I, I don't need to demo this, do I? No. There you go. There you go. You go like that. <laughs> oh, it smells great. No, don't smell it. Nail polish room? Jeez. No. Why? It smells great. Because it's literally chemicals. It smells like alcohol. Yeah, stop. I can <laughs> don't drink smell. This. It's not the kind of alcohol you drink. Mm -mm. In, a, in a quick pinch. Don't do that. That's like real alcoholic behavior. Sorry. I shouldn't be encouraging that. Boom. Yes, oh, my God. See, this there is fucking you go. sick. You know what's even better? If you use 100% pure acetone. This is the real shit. So right now you're probably just using nail polish remover. This shit. Uh-huh. Is that your brand? No. Are you this promoting your a, brand again? Oh. No, no. This is not my brand. This is just from Walmart. Why don't Walmart. you have 100% acetone in your brand? Because I don't need to sell it. You can literally buy it for $2 at Walmart. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. So 100% acetone for nails, not not for cars. Do not use industrial level acetone. Uh, but yeah, this shit takes it off like way quicker. It's the best. Just don't drink it. Sometimes I like confuse it because it's so similar to like a sippy cup. Don't do it. <laughs> What will happen if you drink it? Do you die? Um, I don't know. You want to find out? I mean, no. Not on my stream. Because <laughs> then I'll get banned. How about you try? I'll, I'll watch. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'll call 911. Like, if something happens to me, I'll, I'll get banned. So I can't do that. You know what I mean? Would that happen? Would they ban you if you drank acetone? Yes. 100,000%. What, what, what rule violation would that fall under? Self-harm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's let's not do that. They would ban me so quick. Have you ever been banned on Twitch? So many times. For what? Uh oh no. You open up a For can of worms. That's gonna love this. Tell me, I wanna know. <laughs> so they're all throwing up Pepe right now, which means it's the that's the, the universal emo for well, it's a all the frog expressions are different. Pepe is uh she does not know. They're saying you are unaware. I think I know because I think I know. Uh, uh, I was on it, Fox News for uh, saying oh, something really? about Dan Crenshaw. I don't know what who that is. I uh, but I, I guess I guess of, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. All right. 
I said some Bad. things that got misconstrued by conservatives and conservative media, and it was all over Fox News for like 48 mm. hours. And you were live, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, I was real live. I said something about it's, America. It's tough. I said something I'm about not America deserving you. certain things. Oh, I'm not defending you because I don't even know the context in which you said it, but just generally Julie, speaking. You already, like, already defended me now. No, I'm, I literally don't even know what you said, but just Maybe being live, being live, on because I'm not someone who's live all the time, uh -huh. I've literally live streamed five times, um, is really tough. And for you to do it every single day for years, for like 10 hours, you're going to have some bad takes, I think. I'm just guessing. Sometimes I hear you say something and I'm just like, but then I also consider that maybe you're human and maybe you're you need to sleep. Oh really? You, you 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 hear takes that are disagreeable sometimes? You you don't you I don't mean like, like it? it's it's not really that. I just think sometimes you kind of say something and then maybe you are too tired to repeat what you might have said earlier that oh, would have given more clarity or context. Cause and you shouldn't have to, because but the problem is on the internet, everyone can take a segment of what you say and just use that in isolation. And that can absolutely result in a bad looking take. They right? do that all the time. Yeah. That's and what uh, well, that is, it is kind of what happened there. I was, uh, I mean, it was an emotional moment. Does the chat about, forgive you? Do they forgive you? If they know who you are or feel like they have a better idea of you? Yeah. I mean, chat doesn't give a shit. Chat loves it. They meme about it nonstop. Okay. I said America deserved 9 11. When I, was, oh. when I was talking about our foreign policy, and I didn't mean like, you know, people deserve to die, obviously, or, you know, and I'm the anti-terror, but uh, Fox News made it out to be like, Muslim communist loves Al-Qaeda, you know? I, uh, I didn't even mean to bring this up. I'm sorry. What? No, I don't <laughs> care. No, no, no. People joke about it all the time. It doesn't matter. No one gives a shit anymore. Yeah, but if they... Do they joke about it? Because are they are they joking or are they like still upset? Because if it's no 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 one no one upset. no one who is like a serious person would ever look at that and be like, I can't believe he said that. It is a well established. My take is a well established, well documented academic position that mm -hmm. is that uh, America both funded and facilitated the terror it brought upon itself. Um, it's just true. This, but if I had said it like that, no one would get mad at it. Just the uh, verbiage and the language I used was, was the delivery, basically. Mm. The delivery of So, it. I, as a Canadian, uh, am not uh, in the position to speak. <laughs> <laughs> the chat oh, no, is just like a acknowledging that I look scared. Your government, <laughs> yeah, your government's not great either. But hey, listen, the Canadian government said uh, or criticized Saudi Arabia a while ago. And the Saudi Arabian official Twitter account sent a tweet with the, the needle. I think it was, was it the Toronto needle chat? What was it? And said they basically threatened to 9-11 Canada. Like the Saudi official Twitter account threatened the 9-11 Canada. The CN Tower? Yeah, I the think? CN Tower saying, yeah. like, you know, don't, uh, mm -hmm. don't. What what was the fucking, what was the, what was the thing? They deleted it, but it was crazy. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but I remember uh, during 9-11, us kind of thinking that when I, I was a kid, I was like, I don't know, 10 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happened. No, no, that this was recent. Tower no, this was recent. was a risk. Okay, yeah. yeah. Here, they said, here, this, this was on globalnews.ca. It's not like, yeah, Saudi yeah. nonprofit deletes Twitter image depicting Air Canada plane flying towards CN Tower. And they wrote, sticking one's nose where it doesn't belong. As the Arabic saying goes, as the Arabic saying goes, he who interferes with what doesn't concern him finds what doesn't please him. This was literally the Saudi, like, official verified. Yeah, and it, it, you can see it. If you look at my stream yeah. right now, you'll see it. That's what they tweeted out. How nuts is that? Yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's a bad take. No, it's not a good take. 
That's a bad take. Bit of a bit of a self-report there from the Saudi government. Anyway. <laughs> the, ch the chat. Thank you, chat. The chat is just like. That's defending you. Don't worry. They the know chat has most... gone into protectionist mode because they think I am some innocent little Canadian lady. And yeah, I, I don't know the dangers of the world. Uh, but thank you, chat. I appreciate Chat, I you. know I, I, I know what not to talk about and what to talk about, okay? Chill. <laughs> Calm down, chat. Is there anything I can answer for you about Canada? Quick dry top coat. This is it? That I can answer. Is that good? Yeah. 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 Quick okay. dry. That that's what you want. That is the next step in your nail game. You got a quick dry taco. Like this. Hold on. See the taco there? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. What of, the fuck? Wait. Only half of you will understand. Wait, do that again. How did you do that? Okay, hold on. Wait, I want to see the taco. Okay, hold on. Ready? What the there fuck? Goes the Dude, taco. you have special effects and shit. Yeah, I also have that. That's, that's us waiting for something to dry. See, I'm that? trying to learn how to stream. Okay, you have like an actually sick setup. You're fine. You're you're literally that? a better. You are literally a better streamer than me already. <laughs> Dude, I see everybody saying Hassan's a lazy streamer. <laughs> They're making fun of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Fix okay. the camera. My um. What do my, you think? My focus is fucked up. <sighs> okay, so the the top coat is key. I say taco because of my Canadian accent, I guess. So okay. there, self-report. Okay. Um, you, so want, yes, you want it. Prete avec rapid dry. Integrant la technologie OP extended wear. A le le French people Ruby. don't speak. What are you from? The Beauty and the Beast? Are you the, the fucking the guy? I'm the, just reading. I'm just reading it in stick? French for the, for the Quebecers. Are you Gaston? Yeah. What's his name? So the anglais prospects at six. Arrête là, Hassan. Arrête là. Viens là là. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, rapid dry is just the same same vibes. Yeah. Um, hey, Northern vibes. Line is in here. What's up? That's another Canadian. What's up, Canadian? We must know each other because there are ten of us who live here. It's true. It's literally true. You know it. It's gotta be easy doing stats for Canada because there's 12 people. Yeah. That's I get that question all the time. Like, how are you a crime statistics analyst when there's no crime in Canada? Like, oh, there's yeah. definitely crime in Canada, as we know. <laughs> yes, there is, just like there is everywhere. I can but I can count the crimes on my hands. Okay. Yeah. I don't even need math. Yeah, That's wait, don't say that. Shh, don't say that. If they hear that, they're going to fire you. <laughs> they're going to be like, we don't need her. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. There's only 10 crimes that happens. No, there, there's more than that. A couple more. Oh, yeah, Depends. I know. Because Ontario is the crime capital of the world. Everybody <laughs> no, knows. No, it's this. not. Like, it's literally Everyone not. knows this now. <laughs> no one knows why I still work for the government. I, I get that question all the time, too, is why do you still have a job? I guess they would just rather me, me be jobless, just, just be like you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you you probably pop you pop off on YouTube. You you must enjoy your day job a little bit. Yeah, but I had my day job. It. I had my day job before YouTube. Yeah, no, I I mean, so did I. But my day job was at the Young Turks, yeah. so it was still in content. And I fucking yeah, got out real quick. I was like, I want to cool. be my own boss. I don't give a shit. But that makes sense because, and it kind of, it's like a linear progression for you, right? Because you're working in content yeah. production, right? Oh wait, so you wanna, yeah. you wanna still like, uh, you wanna work in the government? You wanna continue working in the government? I think so. I mean, huh. I don't know. It it kind of depends. I'm, I've just, I have a problem with saying no to things. <laughs> so I just keep, I keep doing all the things. Like I just do everything. That's cool. Yeah. And no, I, if people say that I just keep my job for the pension. Like, if I'm being really honest, I've already made my pension on YouTube. Like, yeah. I, I do not keep my government job for the pension. There you go. Facts. Facts. Yeah. I feel that. I'm not saying the pension is, is good. I'm not 
I'm also not downplaying. Americans are like, what's a pension? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's where the government and yourself kind of put away, you put aside money for yourself for when you retire, and you get to retire at like 55 years old and like live your best life after that. If you work, that sounds crazy. For the government for uh, you're years, making that yeah. up, I think. No, it's real. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna say, you're you'll be able to buy a house and stuff, and then it's just like, no, actually, Canada is really unaffordable too on that front. It is, yeah. It's also not the best housing situation here either. And then okay. all the prices went up with COVID. Yeah, you guys, you guys hear that? They have a thing called pensions. Yeah, <laughs> it's called it's government handout. That's what that is. Okay, so I if just I'm, like if I'm being really honest, the only reason I can afford like a like a house, as in not a condo, is because of YouTube. Of course. If I, if I was working in the government, Wait, did at you the same say job the only reason why I, I can afford a house, not a condo? Uh, yes, because I <laughs> did. I bought a condo um, before YouTube. Yeah. Well. So. We but don't that's have unusual. that either. This is this is, <laughs> yeah. There's no there's no condo ownership in America either. So for okay. for our generation at least, I I am an outlier. I don't want to paint myself. As, like, <laughs> They're saying you can buy a condo. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! You're breaking everyone's brains right now. They don't understand what you're saying. This was be this was before YouTube, and it was a long time ago, and it was before the recession. Before it sounds just like the what you're talking about sounds like communism. I I don't understand. Communism <laughs> is when you can buy a condo. Okay, so I just apply <laughs> this, right? Just like nail polish. Yes, just apply the taco. I but love how it, this conversation just goes from unaffordable housing. Apply the taco. So does it matter if it's like on my on the other side of my like if it hits the other outside of my nails and stuff? So try not to have it hit your skin. Oh, why? If it does, because uh, then it's just kind of like nasty, first of all. That's not where the paint goes. Um, but it also, if you, it peels off your skin over time, but then it might also peel off your polish with the peeling off of the skin. So you want to aim for just the polish. How long does it uh, wait? How, how long should I wait for the dry? So I can't really tell, but just make sure you did like a nice thick even coat. You want like a nice thick coat of glassy taco. Glassy taco. I does say that it, American. Does it make it more um, like vibrant? Does it make the colors pop off too? It makes it glossier, like shiny. Okay, cool. There's also if, you know, I have to send you some hollow taco after this. Why you're not using it now? I don't know. My oversight. But uh, if you like matte nails, like flat, the flat look. Um, you can use a matte taco, top coat. I just say taco because I'm so used to it. And it kind of mattifies. It takes the shine away. So some people really like that look. It looks really nice if you do like matte black. I'm just letting you know this is taking the color off a little bit. Okay, then you're pressing too hard. Oh, okay. okay. So you got to float it. Should I, sh I could show you here. Oh, yeah. Chat wants to see me add a taco too. Okay, you guys, I'm going to satisfy you with my taco application skills. Chat, it's definitely dry enough. This is my left hand. Yeah, so make, just make sure you're using, you're painting the hand that you did earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right if now. That makes sense. Okay, chat wants to watch me. Okay, right? do it. <laughs> Wait, I got to do my, uh, there's my taco. <laughs> So you make it nice and thick. Yeah. If I had my better macro lens, which is in my filming studio, it would look even better. But it's the idea is you want it nice and juicy so you don't have any, um, like, smudginess. And then it's just super, like, thick and glossy. Look at that. See how the, the sparkle stands out? The sparkle stands out more under a glossy taco. And now your whole chat is obsessed with hollow and nail polish. What have I done to them? <laughs> I can't believe you just, I mean, you popped off on that. <laughs> uh, I, Look, we're almost twins. Yeah. Same, same level of skill, I think. <laughs> I think you're getting better. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think you, you've struggled with the taco. Yeah, no, the taco is fucking me up. It's like... It's like making it worse for me, to be honest. It's like making so, it yeah, jumbled they're, up. They're, 
Mm, shit. So that might be a result of you kind of stabbing it with the brush. Like you really have to lightly, gently float it over, like nice and thick. Don't be afraid to like scoop it on, lay it okay. on thick, like like Americans and their butter or whatever. What is it you guys use excess of everything? Extra thick, like a Big Mac, double smoked Big Mac patty. <laughs> I'm being mean. Lay on that. You guys mustard. have those things too, okay? Yes, I know. We have we have hamburgers and hot dogs in Canada. I'm not gonna pretend like we don't. We just. I think I did a better I, job with this one now. This. Mm. Uh, but the other ones I fucked up a little bit. Ah, eh, it's whatever. I mean, I don't really give a shit, but. What do you mean you don't give a shit? You don't care? I mean, care? I don't give a shit as in, like, it still looks cool because I'm a, I'm six foot four. I'm a massive dude, and, like, I have painted fingernails. So people already, like, respond positively to that regardless. So they don't yeah, have to like, be, like, super well done. You know what I mean? Even when yeah, they were, even when yeah. they were, like, crumbling and, and crusty as hell, people still thought they looked cool. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, as long as your nails are painted in some capacity and you exactly. have some, some color, the, like, you are just so much cooler already. Yes, automatically. I, I, That is an advantage that men have. You don't need to debate anyone. Yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta paint your nails. Exactly. You could debate me. How's that? About nail polish things. I mean, I, I was already debating you about how Canada is the number one in crime, but you just refuse, I won. To, you just, you just refuse to admit facts. It's fine. Because <laughs> your facts are not factual. Okay. They are lies. Well, I'm American, so we don't, we don't believe in facts like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now chat says we have to debate, but I automatically win because I'm Canadian. So. True. Well, you guys have, yeah. yeah, you guys have healthcare, so that's an automatic dub no matter what you do. You know what I mean? It's the permanent L for America that we don't have that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hey, know you guys don't have dental yet, though, right? <laughs> um, you're correct. in the government, so you might have yeah. it. I, I, yes, I have eighty percent coverage through my federal government insurance for dental. Uh, but if you don't, well. Some people's employers offer them dental coverage. I guess that's similar to how medical coverage works in the States. If your employer offers it, maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if you're lucky. Okay. No, our, our, think... our, our employees, like, directly, directly. Wait, you, did you say 80% coverage? That's insane, my... dude. You can't even buy 80% dental coverage yeah. in America. Like, you can't. There's no amount of money that, like, gives you that kind of dental coverage, even if you purchase it. Yeah. I know this is a really, I, I really do not mean to flex. Sometimes I just say this and then I, because I've said something like this too on my own podcast and then I realize that that's absolutely not the reality for most of my chat or audience, which is not in Canada because only like 8% of my followers are from Canada. Because Canada is 10 people. <laughs> no, son. Because America is just most of the English speaking consumers of YouTube culture. So that is what makes up most of my audience is the US. Yeah. Well, it's just it's just population distribution. So there's just more people in the US who speak English. They don't follow me because I'm Can Canadian, like or say, more Canadians don't yeah. follow me because I'm Canadian. No one cares. No, I know. It's not like Turkish people. Like Turkish people follow me because I'm Turkish, even though I don't speak the language. Oh yeah, interesting. Do you? So you don't have a higher distribution of Turkish followers? No, of course not. Oh. I I oh. I, I speak. I I I'll exclusively speak English, and I cover American politics. So no, of course I don't have like a, a massive Turkish audience, but I do have a. I still do have a solid like Turkish audience though, because you know people I think just follow because some of them want to learn English and then others follow yeah. because they are like oh this guy's Turkish like I like that yeah no that's that's cool I see some people say that about Canada um how is Turkey should I go there on vacation I've never been very nice I recommend it 
Good. Maybe when we don't have coronavirus anymore and I can leave this country. And good luck with that. Yeah, I don't know. It's not happening anytime. I'm not going to an airport anytime soon. Turkey's great for, I mean, I've been flying around a lot in America since the, I got double I know, you went, you went to Texas, y'all. I Dude. saw that. I went to Texas. I went to Florida. It's been great. I had a Fourth of I went to a Fourth of July party this weekend. Did it, you bring your holsters? I did not. No, holsters are new. Mm. This is a new addition to my to my getup in honor of Steven Crowder. You're fit. Yeah. I really like the nails and the holsters, though. I think like that's that's the look. Yeah, it's the look of the summer. <laughs> Double vaxxed holsters, nails. Check. I, think I might have fucked up this top coat. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like top coat was advanced. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that to you, but I just take it for granted because it's like it's what saves your manicure from your bed sheets and shit that you're gonna touch or not touch allegedly. That's after it, this. though. But yeah, okay. So you've top coated all nails. Yeah, I did. But think about it. Think about how bad it was when you reviewed. Uh, I mean, I'm going to pull it up right now, actually. I want to see. What? what do you mean? Last last time when you, I watched when you, when you my video? When you watched my video. Let's see. When I roasted you politely. Yeah. What was it? What was the title of it? Chad, do you guys have it? Uh, Teaching streamers how to paint their nails. There you go. Yeah, now you like streamer. actually have taught me how to paint my nails, though. There yeah. it is. You have to pay my rate, though. Contact my agent later. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's... Uh, I don't have an agent. That was a joke. I'm going to put you up here. Okay, this is weird. Oh, my God. There's so many of us. I know. We're all over the place. Okay, so... Let's take a look, chat. You can pick off dried nail polish later. You run the risk of just this pushing the paint nail further into... Simply nail-ception. What's up? This is too much nail? Oh, nail-ception? Simply nail-ception? Yeah. Arr. I mean, uh, he said it himself. Think. What does that mean? The chat said it. What are they saying? They said way too dank. Oh, way too dank. They're just saying because, like, we're both on the screen and we're reacting to your, our videos. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, they just mean like they say it when there's like a really loud noise. But I want to see like if I just showed all nails. What Wait, does Julian point? paint his own nails? Yeah. Oh, wow. Son of a bitch. Yes. What? He's, he's so good, good at everything. It. Crazy. I know. He's I better love than him. you. <laughs> he's a, Wait, no, I, I I love him. He's great. He's, he's <laughs> awesome. Okay, but I mean, he's, look at this. He's so good. Like he should be Canadian. Okay. No, he's he's ours. Okay, so look. Okay. So I, yeah, that, to, that wasn't to, so bad. No, it was terrible. What are you talking about? Look look at like look at my nail then and then well, I can't wait, hold on. I can see your nails, but I don't think chat can. Yeah, no, I'm I'm showing it on the other camera. Like it, it, there is a significant improvement this time around. Yes. Same nails? Think, wait, really? They're saying think, same nails. I think they're just... No. They're memeing. Chad, I, I think we got to give him some credit because I think before I basically made the decision for him to put on a top coat, he was doing really well and he clearly showed signs of improvement from nail to nail. He used new nail hacks. He's learned new things. He, he now knows about liquid latex. I even used the okay. nail polish remover to like clean it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and your thumbnails aren't your fault. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not my fault, chat. So you have to work with what you have. You know. I think this is a lot better. I, I I'm not even kidding. Wait, does anyone have? Does it, chat? Do you guys have like a photo? Remember, I think I showed all my nails before. I can't find I, it. In I this remember video. a screen grab where you were kind of like this. I mean, look, look. It's just like this is so bad. Like I, I was like. Literally fucking painting all over my cuticles and shit. At least now it's like not on my cuticles because of the. Yeah. You went from like painting like a child to painting like a 13 year old. 
you know. Okay. So, I, I was going to go with Picasso. Good. But <laughs> Picasso. Oh, come on. This is only level one of simply nail advice, okay? The chat is proud. I see them saying they're proud of you. No, they're not. They're lying. They can't wait to see you do some Turkish wrestling with those nails. Turkish oil wrestling. Against, against uh, Will? Yes, against Will. Yeah. Are you proud, chat? Chat, what do you think? Okay, now they're saying nice things. Before they weren't, but now that I asked. Looks they're like a gay nice. emo kid wanted to paint your nails. Okay, young bussy. I think I just... feel like the chat has gotten so much more positive. There's people with hearts and like little bears with hearts. Yeah, when I ask for positive reinforcement, they give it to me. Oh, so why don't you just ask? Just, or that's I don't annoying. know. You have to ask. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to have to ask all the time. But here it is. Both? Chat. Hassan needs your love. You know, at all times. True. Parasocial relationship thing. And your subs. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Exactly. I think this is pretty good. I don't know. I'm I very. I'm very happy. Thank you. 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 You killed I it. I like it. You did a you did a phenomenal no, you, job. You did that. You did that. Not me. It was you your it, it was your positive influence and and your your words of wisdom that allowed me to successfully paint within the lines. You know what I mean? I think I'll, I'll give it a ten out of ten. Uh, murders committed in Ontario. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Where can people find you? Um, on Simply Nailogical on YouTube or on Simply Podlogical on YouTube or on Simply Not Logical on YouTube where I'm streaming. I'm streaming now. Hell yeah. On YouTube. And it's not as fun. No, it's, but... it's still a lot of fun. And also, Christina has uh, Hollow Taco, right? <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's her. That's yeah, where you I, can I buy. I got to send you some, but uh, I'll DM you after after you play games. No, um, no, no, I'm going to sleep <laughs> after this. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'll DM you because I want your, I need a, like a business address or something. I just Yeah, yeah, for sure. I no, I, I, I'll send you one. But thank you for having me. If you ever want to come to Canada, you know, let me know. I could, I could open the board. I could open the gates for you. Hell yeah. No, now I or have I could, a, I a call Canadian someone. government official. Uh, now I have an in in the Canadian government. We're good. <laughs> and if you ever want more nail advice, you know, you know where to find me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on. Seriously, this Thank was a lot you. of fun. Thank, thanks, chat, for behaving for me. And now they're going to go back to being a dick. As soon oh, as no, I leave. of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Hassan, for All having right. me. This this was actually fun. Like, All right. Bye. No, no jokes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Simply Nailogical, a.k.a. Christine without an H. She was dope. That was awesome. Right? Did you guys enjoy that? Hassan, why did you be mean? What? I wasn't mean. What are you talking about? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Look at all of the products that I have here. Here, look at this one last time, boys. Okay, look at that. Look at that, dude. See, I did all this without a sub goal, too. Look at that. Good job teaching the norms about cussy. I think they look really nice. In comparison to what my nails look like the last time I did them, I think they look very nice. If we're being real. If we're keeping it 100, if we're keeping it a buck 50, if we're keeping it a stack. Really good variety of content, my guy. I would love more of this stuff if you enjoyed it. No, I did. Your nails before. What the fuck is this website? WeasleyLiarTumblr.com? What the fuck is this? Oh, that's the... Oops, Discord is still on. Turn it off. Um, the leaked? There's nothing leaked. What is this? What is this? Uh, what the fuck is this? Is this Tumblr? Is this what Tumblr looks like?
What is this? IRL outside drama? Like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>